bring this in when you're ready. I'm trying, you got it. everybody in the shoe knock. Get my girlfriend is over. Let me get the mic right. One, two, one, two. Oh, it's gonna be demon time. Just in um, Second Ezra, the 14th chapter, if you want to continue from there, we was at um, the 10th verse talking about how this um, society has gotten weaker and weaker. How this place is ready for what it's fucking demise, man. And that's really all that we're waiting on, man. We're waiting on prophecy to be fulfilled. We're waiting for uh, for Russia to gather them troops together. They're going to come straight after America. Whenever you got it, brother. This is uh, Second Ezra, uh, uh, 14 and 10. For the world has lost its youth. And the times begin to wax old. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, people are not living as long as they used to, right? Animals are, are going extinct, according to so-called white man. The ocean is polluted. The air is unbreathable. Yeah. You got sicknesses, pestilence. You got all type of things going on right now. This is not the world that you knew when it was fresh before um, Esau's reign of terror, before the reign of terror, Esau Edom. This is not that place. Go ahead, read that again. Second entrance, 14 and 10. For the world has lost its youth, and the times begin to wax old. For the world is divided into 12 parts. Hey, that's when America gets split into ass cheeks. America about to get split like ass cheeks, man. The Lord gonna tear this bitch up. Go ahead. And the 10 parts of, are, are gone already, and half of the 10 parts. And the remaining that which is after the half of the tenth part. Now therefore, set thy house in order and improve thy people. Such comfort of them to be in trouble. Hey, you're trying to get your mind right. It's time to get your mind right, man. Because ye you, you are the temple. You are the house of the Heavenly Father. So it says set your house in order. Hey, because guess what? Hey, unless your kid is um, under 12, can't do nothing for them. Your wife. <laughs> Hey, unless she's the let, you can't do nothing for her, man. So you really got to focus on yourself. She got your own salvation, man. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, second entrance 14 and 13. Now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Yeah, fuck these people, man. We're going to get on their ass. We're going to get them. Because they, they like wickedness. They like wickedness, man. You just had Snoop Dogg and Dogg print walking, gang banging like a motherfucker at the Super Bowl. Right? But we come out here preaching. Oh, that's hate. That's hate, man. He got, he got a whole gangbanger promoting his gang on television, man. That's hate. Yeah, that nigga start all type of beefs with that. What else, man? You got all these fucking rappers promoting nothing but negative vibration. <laughs> Death, murder, drug dealing, man. Um, fucking um, devil worship. Devil worship. So what, we supposed to agree with these motherfuckers? Hey, it comes to a time where you got to separate yourselves from these people, man. You gotta separate yourself from these demonic motherfuckers, man, because they're gonna die, man. Go ahead, brother. It's 1 John chapter 5 and verse 19. And we know that we are of the Most High and the whole world life in wickedness. As the brother said, hey, it's a separation. How hey, you, long right here? You, got the, you got the men of the Lord hey, 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 glorifying the Most High in their bodies right here, in this, right here on this earth. But you got the rest of the people in this spirit right here. This is uh, 1 John chapter 2 and verse 18. It says, Little children, it is the last time that you have heard that the anti, it says Christ, but it's anti-Messiah. It says the anti-Messiah shall come. Even now are there many anti-Messiahs, whereby we know that it's the last time. So hey, we know that it's the end of days. Hey, because of, hey, look what's going on. Look at how the people are acting. It's an anti-God society. Nobody is glorying in the most high. Hey, it was this post on social media, this dude I went to school with. 
And it was one day I was in the dean's office, whatever. I was I was breaking bread with one of the deans or whatever. And uh, he heard the word or whatever, and I asked him. And he was like, I don't want to hear about that, right? So on social media or whatever, I seen, I came across one of his posts or something. And he was responding about, uh, I think her name was Megan Fox or something. But uh, he said, I'm glad she got rid of that fight and that nigga. Wow. And then I looked into it. So that she, yeah, yeah, she got the divorce her husband. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if he divorced her. Yeah, he's got rid of his husband. Right, so he was a pastor or whatever. Right. He was a Bible, but you, but you can see. Yeah. You know, they just a study bitch on TV. Man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what they were saying. They said the same thing. They were like, how the hell is a man on the cloth supposed to be dealing with this fucking slut? Oh, my God. But hey, his response, like, it, it showed how much he had that hatred of the most high him. He said, I'm glad she got rid of that Bible and that nigga. Wow. No, but hey, that's the spirit, man. These people are against God. Right. So it's a separation with the men of the Lord. What they say about you when you used to come around, don't come around with that bullshit, that positive bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They used to be bad when you come around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here come this nigga with that shit, right? Yeah. Ah, guess what? I ain't coming around no more. Oh, no, no, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got to talk to y'all no more. Whatever y'all was getting ready to do, go kill him, kill him. Shoot at him, punch him, do whatever you gotta do, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to tell you nothing. And like the scripture says, man, many antichrists, man. Yeah. You fucking people don't fear the Lord, man. You can tell your face, man. And they, they try to tell you, hey, this is a God fearing country. This is a God fearing land. This land don't fear the Lord, man. This God despi this, this place despises the Lord, man. You can tell, man. I got into it with it, but I ain't get into it. I just laid my piece down a little bit. Cause I'm not about to argue with you. I had a uh, nigga woman in my job, man. These young 20 year olds is out of their fucking mind, man. This dumb bitch, man. I ain't getting into it. But I know she's a part of the LGBTQ shit because how she defends it, man. I, I told her straight out simple, man. A man should not put on a woman's clothes, and a woman should not put on a man's clothes. And she took it and ran with it. Oh, you're ignorant, you're ignorant. So I had to cut her bitch. I'm not ignorant for nothing, man. I know what the hell I'm talking about, man. Ignorant person I'm always talking about, man. You go be 20 year old, man. Y'all y'all stupid, man. Y'all stuck in that bullshit, man. Hey, this hey, this is a preacher I came across this week. This is Sirach 21 and verse 18. It says, as is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. And you walk up to a crib that's on fire, you can't do that with it. That's how, hey, two thirds of our people and the rest of the world look at the, at the Holy Scriptures. The true knowledge puts my understanding. They can't do that with it. What good is this supposed to profit me? Or, or it burns them, it puts them on fire. Because it, it, it separates them from that wicked shit, man. It lets them know that wicked shit that you've been doing is bad, man. And y'all don't want to hear that shit, man. Y'all want to hear comforting words, man. Smooth things. Hell yeah, man. They love to hear that shit, man. That's why uh, the government gives them a, a, a parade to parade around. It's called a pride parade, man. Because you're full of pride and bullshit, man. And the Lord despises pride, man. Amos says they hate him that are from the gates, that poor him that speak up right. Uh -huh. So these people hate righteousness. You hate to have the fun. This is Rock chapter 21 and verse 18. It says, This is Rock 21 and 18. As is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool, and the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. These you ain't talking about nothing, man. Nope. Hey, hey, our conversation, our conduct, our manner of life, what we speak about, we speaking of heavenly things. Man, we, we trump your college professors. We trump your, uh, your, your reverends at your local churches. None of these cats can come up against us, man. Uh, uh, pick one of your A1 scholars from any one of these places and tell them to come up against us, man. And why, how do I know that? Because we got the truth. We got the scriptures, man. This is Sirach 21 and verse 19. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet and like manacles on the right hands. So these hey, people... Hey, the spirit's so raw. You see this dude who just walked past us? This used to be one of the top drug dealer niggas. Now I guess he's living at the fucking YMCA, homeless as hell. Mm -hmm. This nigga had all the bitches, had all the dope, had everything, man. Wasn't he fucking... Which one of them was fucking with Michael Jordan's wife? Which the other dude, man. I ain't gonna say no names. Yeah, that they certainly. <laughs> hey, one of them was fucking Michael Jordan's wife, man. Look at the nigga right now. Homeless as hell walking down the street. So nowhere to go. Hey, he didn't even try to acquire it. Yeah, he, he, he knows. knows. Man, we know this nigga's fucking seventh grade. Mm -hmm. Look at him now. Mm -hmm. I'm glad the Lord took us out there. Yeah, he ain't walking like an old man. man. You saw that walk? Yeah. I thought it was a senior citizen. Yeah, he yeah. Probably yeah. sucks the head, man. Probably bullets that have beat his ass and the Lord is on hell. Yeah, if you ain't a righteous man, you're going to fucking get fucked up. Man. Go ahead, brother. And, and hey, now, we're not righteous men. We're fighting to be righteous, man. Yeah, the Lord pulled us out of the bullshit, so hey, we're gonna run with this truth. Yeah, we're gonna make our bodies a living sacrifice. Yeah, we're gonna come out here, and it don't matter what weather, it don't matter when the Lord calls us to do the work, we're gonna do it. And if you don't do it, guess what? The Lord's gonna get rid of you, because he don't need you. <laughs> All right.
This is a rock 21 in verse uh, 19. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet. Yeah, and like, doctrine, man. We, the Lord's trying to give you food for thought. <laughs> you talking about food for thought. This is food for thought. You got bread, you got milk, you got meat, you got everything for your body to be built up. But guess what? No, no, man, that's too deep, brother. Why you got to be so deep, brother? Why you got to be so deep? So deep. It says, doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet and like manacles on the right hand. And then that's how these people outside look at this. Oh, I, got, I can't do this. I can't live how I want to. God is too judgmental. He's too restrictive. You know? I can't eat no pork. Can't get no line. I can't get my hair lined up. I can't sleep with another man's wife. Why? Because he's gonna kill you if you do. Hey, ultimately, have yeah, that pork gonna kill you if you eat too much. If you eat it. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why we got these laws. Hey, you, you walking around here? You are a man dressed up as a woman, and here you, here's a horny man. He go under your dress trying to feel for something. He feel two two egg balls with motherfucking bull stick. Oh yeah, he done snapped the fuck out. He done snapped out. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Right. Confusion. She fucked up. Yeah, and our people, they, they, our people promote that shit, man. They, they get kicked out of on that um, LGBTQ uh, lifestyle, man. I was uh, another dude I was talking to the woman. She's like, yeah, the north side bought out where? Hey, hey, I got the biggest buff uh, nigga parade on the south side, man. So don't act like that. <laughs> that is dumb ass spirit, man. The whole fucking place is fucking corrupted, man. The fucking evil uh, vibrations all the time. Ain't no north, east, south side. They're all around you, man. They're all fucking around you. They got something called the buff nigga parade. Hey, you think this was some, this a made up character, man. Come on, come on. I'm gonna pull it up right now. Now, for a long time, I thought it was somebody named Bud Billy. Right. I looked it up, it's a made up fucking character, man. The white people came up with it. Just to keep bread and circus, man, and keep these niggas uh, docile, man. And niggas be at the Bud Billy getting their little girls dance. dancing and shit, pee popping. Oh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah. These niggas Sample. fucked up. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. I got a quick one. Hey, this Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And yeah, who in power right now? Are, are righteous people in power on the earth right now? No. Nope. If righteous people are in power, do you think you would fucking have gays walking around? Huh? Do you think you would have Caucasians on the shores of America after invading and destroying the Native Americans walking around with, hey, I'm going to college. I'm about to go to a sporting event. <laughs> yeah, dude. Party on it, dude. Oh, no, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Are you crazy? You crazy, man. We waiting the Lord for the Lord to reset re back order. Reset back order because things is out of order, man. The Bible said you got the, the princes walking as servants upon the earth, and you got these slave motherfuckers sitting upon horses, man. That's, that's what you got right now. I, I might have fucked it up, but hey, it's close. Hey, you got the wrong people ruling, but honestly, you got the right people ruling because we need a disaster. We need a disaster, but I'm watching Mike Tyson. Best thing that happened to me is I went to jail. Yeah, if I didn't go to jail, I would have died. Because he knew that lifestyle he was living right now. We are prisoners of hope. We in jail. You're a prisoner. You in jail right now. This truth, man. So guess what? This is for correction. Go ahead, brother. This Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceeded from the ruler. Hey, the Bible said there's an evil that I see under the sun <laughs> here on the fucking planet Earth, man. It's lots of evil and wickedness going on, man. You got it? these gay-ass people ruling. <laughs> Known as Esau Edom, there's no such thing as white people. We got to bring that up. Just like there's no such thing as black people. I'm going to take off my black glove right now. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Brown hands. Brown hands, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck you talking about black people? You simple-minded motherfuckers. These stupid-ass people, man. Only Ameri only white people and black people are being called by colors. You go any other place on earth, it's your nationality. What is your nationality? But here in America, I'm white. I'm black, you stupid motherfuckers. Right. Go ahead, bro. This Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 5, there is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an heir which proceeded from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place. Bitch ass motherfuckers, man. You got these motherfucking folly and great dignity, man. You got the, the, the men of the Lord, man. We, we at the bottom. We at the bottom. But guess what? It's all good. It's all good. This is um for correction. <laughs> yeah. This is for reproof. <laughs> yeah. And we damn sure needed it. We damn sure need wait, man. We used to burn our kids, man, to the false gods. Oh yeah. We used to burn our kids to false gods. We used to worship false deities. 
Imagine worshiping the African God, man. The motherfucker that don't exist. Right. Yeah. Right. So guess what? We deserve everything we get. No, no wonder, our man. Look at the black man. The black man is the most low life looking motherfucker on the face of the earth right now. Look at these niggas. And the white man started to look just like him, right? Look at the white man. He looking like a black man. The white man, you look like a black man right now. You look lost. You look docile, boy. Defeated. Yeah, defeated. Defeated. Yeah. yeah, defeated. Unappreciated. <laughs> Ahead, Ecclesiastes 10 and 7 I have seen service upon horses and princes walking as service upon the earth. And as the brothers going into hey, 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 that's the era, man. Hey, this is, you got a piece of shit, hellhole hair being ran by the wrong people, while the true sons of God, the true Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the one third are, uh, hey, uh, the Lord's elect is coming back to him and getting that uh, that wisdom and order to rule. But hey, you got, hey, 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 that's the welfare of the world, that's the scripture. Well, they got a losing class mentality. They don't have a ruling class mentality. They want to be slaves. They said, $10 an hour? We want $15 an hour. I said, man, he's some stupid motherfucker. Right, right. And as soon as they gave you 15 they raised everything else up. Exactly. Right, right. Your rent went up. Went up. Went up. Went up. Went up. Went up. So you basically making $10 still. <laughs> everything costs more. Yeah. Yeah. The story for lack of knowledge. Go ahead, beloved. Uh, I got nothing for the brother say. Look at our people, right? They simple. This Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 1. This Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 1. For behold, Yahweh, it's like it says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the staff, the stay in the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. Verse 2, the mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of 50 and the honorable men and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the elegant or orator. Verse 4, and I would give children to be their princes and babes shall rule over them. And that's what the Lord did, man. And the Lord took away our heritage, man. We came from this great people and to fucking entertain, to great entertainers. We read about King David. And we read about uh, hey, Alpha, hey, about King Abraham. It's about King right, Bond, man. The motherfucking LeBron James. Oh, yeah, King James. The motherfucking LeBron, Chief King. Chief Keith, right. These are our nobles now, man. Right. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, we look up Still to dying. drug addicts, man. Yeah. We look up to fucking game bangers, man. Yeah. We look up to fucking movie stars. Al Al we, we, we got fucking justice. We look up to comedians, yeah, man. Right, right, right. Those, you know? those, are, our, those are our leaders. Exactly. <laughs> clowns. Right. We went from greatness to clowns. But what ain't our fault? You got you got to blame it on the so-called white man, because he's the one who put these clown ass niggas on television for our people to follow after. And you know what's worse? The internet, the worst thing that happened. Now you got real fucking clowns just <laughs> putting out their personality and their thoughts to, to fucking confuse the whole world, man. Worst right. and the best. Thing. The worst of the worst. The worst and the best thing yeah. because we use it for the good of them, man. Looking up information like you're supposed to find uh, things, facts that you never knew about, man. That's what you're supposed to use the internet for, you know. What do I use it for? Like the brother just said, putting up our uh, self pictures. And shaking contacts. Right, right. The sounds in the background. Somebody said, man, we get ready to go to war. Y'all worry about how your ass makes sounds and shit. Uh, it's always some weird shit. That's the weird vibration America pushes on you, man. Y'all gonna die in this weird shit, man. In Psalm chapter 64, in verse 2, it says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection. It's like the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Yeah, they Hey, who is the wicked, man? Hey, hey the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomite, the bad guy of the Bible, man. What he has, do? He has what no... the hell did I do to be wicked? The elites that control your society and control your reality, man. And, and, and most of the time, he ain't, he ain't got no problem with claiming that wickedness, too. Yeah. Hell Satan! Hell Satan! I'm wicked anyway. Hey, what, what our, our manager, our own job, tells us when we talk about Gadite, we, we, we over here down there morning talking about how... He saw the came through and slaughtered dad. I, he like, I ain't gonna even lie to you, man. I come from a great family of killers, man. Of, um, I can't remember the names of them. Boy, he was happy, boy. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. he went, man, we talking about our, our bloodline. Mm -hmm. He went home and did some research. Come yeah. to find out, man, he was part of the first clan group. His family. And he was <laughs> bragging about how many Gadites they killed. Man. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, I come from a line of killers. Yeah. A line of killers. Yeah. I did. Man, boy, we was sucking all that shit uh, in. Like, damn, that's for real? Oh, man. Well, that's yeah. so interesting. In that day. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Really? Uh, like we were talking about earlier, man, the happiness, it was 59, second entrance, but the happiness, my man had, uh, he was living around here, going to his happiness, but when it was the summer, he had go uh, two hours, two and a half, three hours, he had to get here, just to work, at a bar, yeah, yeah. 
Whether it be entertainment, whether it be a, a false uh, uh, idea of uh, reparations or yeah. equality, uh, hey, disguising his wicked shit under the uh, under the guise of uh, love. Oh, oh, just vote. Don't worry. We'll change things when we vote. Right. A vote counts. A vote matters. New people get in the office and they'll look out for you. Yeah, right. You niggas, they gave you the right to vote. Niggas in what, 1960 uh, something, right? But remember the niggas couldn't vote at one point, right? Yeah, niggas couldn't even you eat the restaurant. You was three-fifths of a vote at one point. Yeah. Y'all remember that? Y'all forgot about that. Still, still three-fifths of a nigga. Right. Hey, look, uh, your grandparents are, and some of your parents, they had to forget, man. You know? Um, when you went to the vote place, they saw you have a club there and tell you who to vote for, man. On bus show, they don't put that motherfucker. Yeah, you back of the bus ass nigga. Come on, man. Y'all forget, man. About the times vote, man. Because it was kind of embarrassing, man. Jake don't want to think about them times because that shit tore Jake up, man. Jake it water hose down in the streets, firebombed in the churches, hung in the fucking forest in the woods. <laughs> you couldn't eat at restaurants. You couldn't drink out of water fountains. You couldn't use bathrooms. Hey, yeah, man, you was a nobody. <laughs> you was a fucking nobody. And guess what? You was actually better then than you are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It show you how deep the witchcraft is that Jake, they don't even try to think about that. They, they, that's cool. That's in the past, man. You know, and um, this entertainment and we gave him uh, sports. We get look at Michael Jordan. We gave you Oprah. Come on, guys. Why are you so bad? A gift from the heart, man. Just because he saw get uh, uh so gives you this, gives you. We, we just ran down the whole your leaders. And Lord knows, Jake loves life and entertainment. So he gave you them to be your leaders, man. man you know all, what I'm saying? All what, soul. The spirit soul. Come on, man. Right, check this out. This is like a lesson that I just. Let's look at some of these dead, dead ass niggas right quick, right? <laughs> From the 60s, man. Oh, that would be nice to pop I already got it all set up. So, um, this is what you had going on, right? It says, Capital is invaded. You had, they had set up the Black Panthers, right? To send them off. Yeah, to send them off. This is why you, you niggas can't own guns too much in America right now. Uh. Here you got the Capitol building where it's set up for people to, <laughs> to um, talk. And of course, they have discourse. Here you got these niggas walking up with pistols. Oh yeah, this is okay, y'all bullshit. Here they go again. Angry blacks be great salons and eloquent capital lecture. Nigga, everybody there with suitcases to talk. Here come the black panther with pistols. March with guns. You you brothers was set up to push a, vi a negative vibration of black people. Just like the bloods, just like the crips, just like the gangster disciples, the vice lords. <laughs> yeah. Um, they recruited all these niggas out of so-called high schools out of ghettos. Hey, didn't they give the black, um, what was that, black peace stones? Didn't they give them money to open up some kind of business? Hey, remember they got money from, uh, for their, uh, uh, not for their, uh, the boy over in uh, Libya. A man who sent, um, no, he gave somebody some money. That was Lloyd, yeah, Lloyd, no, he gave Libya. Lloyd that money? Good, a million. But the, but the stones, you talking about, yeah, uh, the government allowed them to get money to set up that building. That building, they had, yeah. The, the, they called the quarter. Yeah. You know, all you brothers, all you guys were set up by what? Hey, look, look, remember the gang leaders? Remember the gang leaders, they, uh, the feds had a, had a meeting with, uh, with uh, uh, Hoover and, um, who yeah. else, Ford? I, I want to say it was Ford. Had them come together and, and gave them 
strategically in different areas they could have and what yeah. they could do, man. Actually, let, me, let me hit this for you. This right. Psalm 64 and verse 6 is nothing is coincidental, man. Oh, hell hey, no, hey, man. Hey, we've been over here in America, and the self-proclaimed white man, hey, he's been uh basically been been providing for us, but in a wicked ass way. Mm -hmm. Now it's the Lord that been keeping us thriving here, but hey. Everything that you see, hey, from the red lining to the people that you see, your heroes, whether it may fucking Malcolm X, Harry Tubman, all bought and sold. Me and this brother did a video on it, man. But hey, this Psalm 64 and verse 6, they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. And this man strategically uh, figured out every way to trap and ensnare our people, whether it be through religion, whether it be through music, whether it be through sports and movies. It's all in his hand to hey, hey, cause us to fall. The truth said they only consult to cast us down for my excellence. And, and, and when he set them up, after he got done with them, what happened? He knocked their ass off the shelf. Yep. Look at that. King. Oh, man, don't worry. I got him next. <laughs> I got him right here. Look at they touching it. Is, is that King? Hey, you had look. Huey P. Newton. Yeah. Yep. Hey, look, no, not this. The other. Um, Fred, them, Fred Hampton. Yeah. South side. They tore his ass up. What about this boy? Uh, there go Martin Luther King. Oh, I got Mega Avers on here too. Oh, yeah, I got them all. Got oh, look at Mark. Oh, look at Malcolm. X. Oh, look at Malcolm X. They wrapped him up like a mummy. Cause that nigga had a mummy spirit. Where did he go right before he died? Nigga, that nigga went to Egypt. Then he go to Africa talking about Mecca. Oh, dumb ass nigga. Look at his ass right here. Oh yeah, frozen in time. God damn it, he ain't coming back. And look at this nigga right here. Oh yeah, this Meg Ravers. They threw American flag on this nigga. Actually, you stupid motherfuckers, you. Yeah, he was man, he was trying to be part of the system. What you mean we can't vote? <laughs> what you mean we can't go to school? What you Oh my god! <laughs> They was hell bent on not having niggas vote, and they will kill all you so-called leaders at any cost. Hey, that's like, why would you want to be with a woman that don't want to be with you? But you gonna continuously force yourself upon her. You gonna force yourself upon her. Hey, you was trying. You, you was trying to rape the white man back in the days, man. You was so much in love with the white man, you want to be part of the system that bad. He did not like you. He told you don't eat around me. Don't drink around. And when he poured, poured all your food on your head, yeah. smashed eggs, whatever. What he said, don't bring your little monkey ass kids to my school. <laughs> yeah. You go, you go, you go to your schools, we gonna go to our schools. Please no. This James chapter 5 and verse 6, he have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist. Hanging niggas, burning niggas, lynching niggas, they firebombing the churches. They said the little girls in church, Jesus. Right. Boom. <laughs> hey, fast forward 2022, and you Israelites can't get enough of the, of the white man. Oh okay. yeah. Huh. Hey, 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 it was this post of this uh, cause the, cause the uh, flavor of the week that uh, that black bitch uh, on the uh, that senator that's married to that Edomite, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had this other black bitch going there and uh, basically defend her dating a white man, but all you can see is her inordinate affection, her doting after her fucking mothers, man. Being an Esau eating them self-proclaimed white man, and the bitch was basically just talking all this stuff about how the black man. Ain't on the level of the white man, and that she, she wouldn't have got as far as she would have got if she was with a black man. No, she's right. She's right. <laughs> Cause we don't want to be part of this society, man. Kind. Hey, man, look, you got niggas been more successful not being part of this society, man. Come on, man. Look, man, we grew up with motherfuckers, man. What, what did your man told you, nigga? Fuck school, nigga. That, that nigga came with about ten thousand dollars in his pockets in sixth grade. He said, nigga, fuck school, nigga. I'm dropping out, nigga. Hey, man. I know he sound like some bullshit. Yeah, I know he died a little later. Man, he later. died a little later, yeah. <laughs> yeah all of the niggas got killed. Yeah, the niggas <laughs> they were doing too much, man. They was doing too much. Lord tore their ass up. Yeah, the streets gonna get you, man. Yeah, the streets gonna get you, man. Remember the boy said the streets is a myth, brother. It's a myth like a motherfucker. A three-week myth. But yeah, man, look, man, you don't need the devil to make it. You need your how about shit outside. Come Yeah, you need your how about shit outside. First off, we're not trying to make it. He got to find in his life. Shall lose his life. Um, it says, a friend of the world is an, in, is an enemy of the Heavenly Father, man. So why you want to be a friend of this society? Right. Oh, like, I'm, I'm going to go to a barbecue this weekend. There's going to be senators. There's going to be a rapper there. Oh, LeBron might even be there. No, that ain't my company. That is not my company. You know where I'm going to be this weekend? Be at work, man. I'm going to go home and be by my motherfucking self and record a video. That's what I'm going to do this weekend. Man. Fuck what y'all about. This, uh... This 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 20, but I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. They and sacrifice not to the devils. God. Hey, you people don't believe in God. You don't even know God. Hey, you, you never knew God, man. You was born in America. Man, how the fuck you never knew God? You was born in America. You knew Jesus Christ. 
you do this uh, make-believe character, man, guess what? They don't exist. And you about to find out very soon, man, when you start calling on them. Hey, man, a lot of you brothers, you got killed in America. Hey, you blacks and Hispanics, your mother was Christian, man. Hey, your mother was a Christian, crying to Jesus Christ. But when your ass got shot, there was no goddamn Jesus Christ, my nigga. Yeah, there was no help. She in the hospital praying over your stiff ass body, man, with them tubes down your throat. And ain't no motherfucking help. Lord, bring them back, Lord. I promise, Lord, if you do this, I'ma do this, Lord. I'ma help out more, Lord. I'ma I'm 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 pay more time. I'ma change my ways. I'm <laughs> never gonna do this. I'ma come back Lord. to you. That Lord said, kill this little motherfucker. Hey, he was a monster. They say he cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the devil's. It's like y'all jumped. Let me go back to this. Uh, it says, now, not that you shall have fellowship with devils, verse 21, you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table man, of devils. Man, if you in this truth, man, everybody gonna look at you, man. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you so upset? Why you got that look on your face? Why, why you talk the way you do, man? Because you motherfuckers is devils, man. You people are wicked. And we don't like this vibration, man. This shit ain't fucking working out for men like us, man. We don't want to fuck. Maybe, maybe just fucking finding a place to get away from this place, bro. Hey, we don't like this place, man. And it ain't us. It's the spirit that the Lord put in us. <laughs> I got two. This Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, for much wisdom is much grief. And he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So if you're using your right mind and the spirit of the Lord was working with you, you will see the wickedness that's going on in this place. And you'll be vexed at it, man. You know, hey, the Israelite <laughs> the nigga woman is oppressing the nigga man. You know, hey, the, no, hey, the basis of all men is ruling over you. You got these inferior uh, fucking uh, Gentile nations ruling over us, man. Yeah, you got, you got yeah. feminism. You got to go to, like you said, the inferior nations. You got to go to them for the stores and get our food from them, man. Exactly. We eating all type of bullshit. There was a video with this dude. One of their brothers reposted, right? It was a little quick video. But this dude says he's eating some pot roast. And he pulled a piece of the power rose out the, out the power rose and he's picking through it and there's a fucking nipple in the power rose. Wow. So they, hey, hey, this, hey, this was just a regular nigga. Yeah, 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 man, they feeding us people, man. So if you know the wickedness that's going on in this place, of course you're going to be pissed off, man. Look, I got this. Look, there's a nigga woman. Back up what you just said. Yeah, nigga woman, she go, um, she go, she go on vacation. She done went over to one of them Google spots. And she, she was eating a scorpion. She done pulled out a goddamn black widow. She done ate a goddamn uh, uh, snake. Oh, she don't say she don't want to get no head. The black woman killed me, G. Thank She'll put me. anything in her mouth, mouth. <laughs> but she don't get no head. Sick ass. I got some. This, uh, this Sirach chapter 21 and verse 20, a fool lift up his voice with laughter, but a wise man doth scarce smile a little. Yeah, why the fuck you think we laugh too much, man? Man, look, I, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I make myself happy. I said, if I don't make myself happy, I'm going to jail, goddamn. Man, I'm going to jail. They're going to be like, man, call 911 with one of this nigga. This nigga ain't smiling four months. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, this nigga ain't smiling. He just want to be left alone. He's not, you can't do that. We got to be like Clark Kent out here, man. Yeah, wise and servant. Oh, yeah, we got to be wise and servant. Sometimes you got to blend it. Hey, how you doing, bro? Hi. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, man, I saw that game. Nigga, I ain't seen no game. Oh, LeBron, man, that nigga. Oh. Of course, LeBron going to drop it. So, yeah, he, man, he was killing me. Making up stories, talking to worldly niggas. Yeah, they yeah, make up a story to a worldly nigga. I thought I was in the military. How you doing, young man? How you guys doing tonight, man? Enjoy that peace. Enjoy, Enjoy that food, man. Man, again, this is cool. This a rock 21 and 20. A fool lift up his voice with laughter, but a wise man does scare smile a little. Hey, hey, that's the hey, that's the spirit. The scripture say, uh, uh. Go to the house of mourning, and Sirach can tell you to uh, neglect not to be with those that mourn. What are we mourning now? Hey, against the abominations that's done in this place. Hey, this place is against the Heavenly Father, man. Right. Imagine living in a world where wickedness is cool. You just, you just literally, imagine if you could see the, the enchantments and the wickedness and the demons on these people, man. Hey, hey, if y'all ever see that movie, it's like you, brother. You ever see that movie, Paranormal? Paranormal? Yeah, yeah. If you seen that movie, it was like this little boy that he can actually like see the spirit oh, world. Oh, yeah, 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 that throwback. Imagine, and it was, they made it seem cool and shit, but imagine living in a world called Paranormal. Paranormal. It's, throwback one. it's, paranormal. it's like a cartoon nowadays, but hey, he can literally see demons. Just, he can see, see like that. the spirit world type oh, shit. Word, 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 word. Hey, that's what this place is, man. It's just two thirds of our people are blind to it and having pleasure and unrighteousness, man. But the men of the Lord, hey, we got that light and we 
see all this wickedness and bullshit that's taking place, man. So yeah, that's why we upset. That's why we hasten in the day that the Lord comes back to destroy this place. You know? It's Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that mark is that mark of redemption, man, after a while. Hey, send out upon the men that's what? Sighing and crying? Not the men that's with this place. Not the people that's uh, uh, succumbing to the flesh and want this place to continue on. Oh, it's cool, you know. Hey, hey, we just got to take this, take that, take uh, that. Take the 50 it, Right, take this, take this job. You this. remember, all you have to do is take one, one. guys. And then you're good. You're, you're good. good. Everything will go back to normal. Everything will go back to normal. Trust me. Trust us. Right. Trust the process. Yes. Right. Right. It says, and to the others he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So to the ones that's not signed, to the ones that's with this place, to the ones that's ultimately going to be found, they're going to have an MOTB. They're going to be uh, in all matters of weakness, man. Want this place to be promoted. Want this place to keep continuing on. The Lord says, slay them. Ha hey, he says, need to have ye pity. Hey, it's going to be all type of judgments going upon you people, man. Yeah. Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. And the Lord said that hey, you're gonna be slaying little children, hey, uh, women, men, maids, and it don't matter who you are. If you're not serving the Lord, as it says in that, um, let me see. I believe it's the Second Chronicles. The Second Chronicles. Yup, 2 Chronicles 15 and 12. It says that they enter into a covenant to seek Yahweh power of their fathers with all their heart, with all their soul, that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. It says it's a time where the Lord winked at your wickedness. Yep. Mm -hmm. But now he said, I'm calling all men to repent. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's about to set up his kingdom. He about to set up his kingdom, man. Enough of Gentiles, man. Enough of heathens. Enough of these pagan people, man. Mm -hmm. Enough of false deities. Enough of lies. <laughs> enough of oppression. Look at that pink toe down there, man. Enough of fucking women walking around butt naked, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is bullshit, my nigga. This is out of order. All these bitches should have, they have their heads wrapped up like a fucking ninja. These women should be at the crib, man, cooking and cleaning for their husbands. Oh, yeah. yeah. All these um, Caucasian men should be in captivity somewhere. Yeah. All these heathens, yeah. Everything's gonna be set back right. All these buildings above three levels, man. They gotta go down. They gotta go down, man. Hey, hey, like you were saying, these women, they working all these jobs, trying to work hard, man. Oh, that's just about the opposite. Man. All these hardworking women. Oh, yeah. All you women with these college degrees. Yeah. You made it, girl. You did it. You got it. You dead bitch, you. You're about to die. Go ahead, man. You're about to die, bitch. This is this all that push. Yeah, all that pussy, man. It's supposed to be in captivity, goddammit. Yeah. So we're keeping on all oh, this shit going in the fucking captivity. That's right. This is Isaiah 42 and 14. It says, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and no, refrained myself. The white man, man. Go ahead, hey, brother. Yeah. Isaiah 42 and 14. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman, I will destroy and devour at once. Hey, the Lord, it said he will uh, uh, no more hold his peace as uh, touching their wickedness. Hey, the Lord is going to come and give these people this judgment. Look at, look around you, man. Hey, it's, <laughs> hey, it wasn't like this, what, three years ago? No, no. Hey, just three years ago. Imagine 10, 30 years ago, man. Hey, this place is complete and utterly done. The Lord is systematically destroying this place. Hey, you got Biden on the uh, news talking about a new world order. Con, blatantly. Con. Hey, hey, he coming straight out with it. He ain't holding back no more. Yep. They, used be, they used to be called conspiracy theorists when you talked about that. Mm -hmm. ten, 10 years ago, you were a conspiracy theorist. You said anything about new world order. Nowadays, 
It's on the news. Biden talking about he about to set everything, do this and that. Right. Oh. Hey, his hidden things are being uncovered right now, man. In these well, last days. Well, they know the people are so fucking stupid. It's time be. to attack these stupid ass Americans. These Americans are stuck in their television, man. Time to give them the the dick. Yeah. <laughs> time to give them the dick. Yeah, we we go, hey, man, go, man, send the military troops, man, start putting the chip in these motherfuckers. Matter of fact, they don't get down executed. Reckless, greenless, blueless. Yeah, get rid of these people, man. If I got it right, it might be a yellow, but yeah, they already got everything set up. Yeah. Why do you think all your Walmarts is turning into fucking empty holding centers? Man, yeah. they, just closed, they just closed a couple of, a thousand this week, too. That's through the spirit. Hey, Bill Gates buying up all the farmland. They talking oh, about oh, famine. Yeah. What, hey, what you think they finna do with that, man? They finna make you come into them and, and want that new world. Um, the back of what you just said, brother, uh, Bill Gates, not Bill Gates, the government also bought a lot of farmland. A lot of your farms, farmers, farmers used to be independent farmers. And now it's all government ran. They done ran all of your local farmers. They said they they to push the prices up on uh, parties, but the track was too high, and they had to sell the land. They pushed up, uh, they told them they couldn't uh, plant this seed, they needed to plant this seed, they regulated them so hard. They said, man, we're gonna sell everything, give it everything, man. Yeah, farmers committed suicide. Committed suicide, had to man. I got some. This Revelation chapter 13, I can chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. And that's the man of the Lord, man. Hey, our conversation is in heaven. Hey, that's we're right. rejoicing. We see all the destruction come out. I was talking to some Edomites at work earlier. And they, they were just saying it straight up. Like, oh, man, we're fucked. You know? <laughs> they, 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 we're losing. It's going to be family. They see, it, they see it's the downfall, man. And they're, they're fucked, yeah. perplexed. But we're happy, we're man. And they see your face. And just so have a conversation with that with you. Yep. But uh, the average nigga, they're not trying to have that conversation with him. Man, oh, talk about basketball, Johnny over there. That's all he knows. Oh. Hey, hey, look, these Americans are so stuck into entertainment. You be like, these the stupidest motherfuckers on earth, man. They done left their own countries to come enjoy the white man's happiness. That white man don't give a fuck about nothing but blood, goddammit. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, you left this country, you went to your country to take it over. Or he blew up your land and made you oh, come over here. You know how he was doing it. Oh, tricks. This Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, ye that dwell in Suck them. Dick. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So what's the great wrath? World wars, MOTBs, uh -huh. NWO. NWOs, New World Orders, um, we got control, some called climate yeah. control. Uh, oh yeah, um, we got climate control, yeah. The, um, the Earth is gonna get hit by an asteroid. Um, from um, yeah, get your ass out of here, Nick. You white people been making up so much bullshit. Hey, the Earth is um, 6.5, 10 billion million years old. We're, we're gonna hey, go. Where the fuck you get this number from? <laughs> we're the go number go. don't even yeah, make yeah, sense. No, we estimate. Right, right, right. This hour is approximately Appro like 100 billion, 6.5 million years old. Man, man, what the fuck? It's a long ass number with a small number. <laughs> We're, we're going to have to cultivate Mars now. This is getting out of hand here. Yeah, we got to leave the Earth and go to another planet. And go to the moon. Yeah. Under our authority, man, this planet is no longer inhabitable. Right, man. Right, right. right. Yeah, you can't breathe here no more. Chemtrails. Yeah, you can't eat here no more. Because all that fucking pollution, man. Where, do this, where does the white man get rid of his pollution from after he make clothing? After he make the pants? He drop it off in your rivers. He drop it off in your ocean. Where's your, where's your uh, chemical plant? Where your chemical, all that shit from the chemical plants going? Where's it? It's going right back into the earth. Yep. The Bible said the earth mourneth. <laughs> Why do you think the earth is in mourning, man? Yeah. Hey, ever since these fucking white people took over during the fucking renaissance, right there, shit's been crazy. fucked up. It's been fucked up underneath these pale motherfuckers, man. Go ahead, bro. That's this is uh, Hey, we're gonna have some of you white people so far out in the field, we don't know who slave that is, man. That's anybody slave. Enjoy, hey, enjoy your work. queen. Hey, you better be working, man, because you got five motherfucking masters about to kill you. Who slave it, man? Hey, whoever slave it is. <laughs> this Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 5 The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws. Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fish can't breathe. Coral reef dead. Yeah. Trash island. You got a Texas sized trash island. You got space pollution. You know? They you got, got doodle fun out of space. Piss. 
got the uh the what's the what, what's the damn uh Burger King burger, the amazing burger. The burger? Oh, oh, yeah. That too, but uh the what the beyond me. Shit that bitch on all his face. No, they just <laughs> you know he's so bugged out. Oh, yeah. The first burger to go to the movie. Oh, the first and McDonald's. Ten billion dollars. You got homelessness all over the place, oh, yeah. but they will send a burger to the movie. Hey, 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 matter of fact, man, this, this shit's so crazy. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying, man? They try to remake different meats and shit, man. This devil will try to remake a body organ and, and put it inside you, man. You know, this is what that devil try to do to you, man. That's how you know this place is wicked, man. Man, you think you eat a McRib, that's a McTestacles, man. You eat a McBalls, <laughs> man. You don't know what the fuck you eat. Straight off a donut. Don't know what you eat, man, man. This shit's <laughs> sick, what Hey, <laughs> uh, 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 Smoothie, he said it already, and this was solid two years ago. Smoothie, uh, Rabbi Smoothie been exposing McDonald's. He said, Why do you think all the kids are kidnapped, man? And you have all these kids kidnapped. Back when he was little, kids used to be all milk carts. Oh, milk carts. And you'd be like, Where the hell all these kids come kidnapped? And he's supposed to be American. Oh, yeah, I used to laugh about it. I said, Man, I dare these niggas try to kidnap a nigga like me. They're gonna die. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Look, I used to walk around and hope a nigga come kidnap me. Yeah. I mean, because you know, they said, Make sure you're home after six. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. That's when I try to walk home at dark time. I used to take alleys, but I used to look for that death. Yeah, yeah, I used to look for that death. And I think the Lord needed to give it to me, man. Right. Lord protect him. Y'all yeah. got kidnapped before. Lord bless him. Word, word. Me yeah. too, me too. That shit crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Especially for the kid. But yeah, guess what? You got fucked up. You got fucked up. You, you grabbed the wrong kid. Yeah, I'm, from, I'm from Haiti, motherfucker. Fuck you, nigga. All right. Kill it, kill it, man. So, man. That's what I'm talking about. This is, uh, I'm gonna bring out, uh, this is, uh, this That man has been some of the ugliest white women you ever seen on earth. That's how also you know America go down, man. These white women ugly than a motherfucker, man. They look like dope heads, that like opioid. This is more rap music. They, 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 they don't like rock and roll no more. That's been, that's what, been absolutely. What happened to Pearl Jam? Oh, yeah. What happened to Aerosmith? No, man. Was, where's Little Wayne? Oh, yeah. Where's Jake <laughs> Where, Cole? Where's Jake Where's Little Doo Doo? Right. Little Pee Pee. Little Motsy. Little reefer. Little potty balls. Yeah, man, the white man ain't popular no more. Man. What is that, man? It's a rap. This is, uh, this is Ephesians uh, 5 and 11. You have no fellowship to come through for works of dark. Yeah, no fellowship. No fellowship. Hey, I only talk the way I do so I can offend the workers of darkness. We're trying to offend you workers of darkness, man. Huh? I'm not trying to make you laugh. I'm not trying to make you comfortable or happy. We're trying to offend you wicked motherfuckers in America. We want your feelings hurt. We want you to motherfuckers know you're going to die very soon. Yeah. Fuck you motherfuckers. That's why we out here, man. Through the power of God, man. That's right. Hey, God ain't with you people, man. You dyke looking ass bitches. And you faggot looking ass men. God ain't with you motherfuckers. You're going to fucking die here in America, you low life motherfuckers. That's your fucking future, man. Read it, man. Ephesians 5 11. Have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reproof. Yeah, fuck you, man. That, that, that nigga dick you got in your mouth, you gay ass nigga. You ain't supposed to have another man dick in your mouth, nigga. You ain't supposed to be eating on no pussy, you fucking slut woman. You lesbian woman. Yeah. You ain't supposed to be putting hits on your fucking parents, nigga. A lot of you niggas, you done killed your parents over some fucking insurance money, man. Wicked ass niggas. You wicked ass niggas, man. Swearing out with their parents. You niggas beating up your fucking parents in the house, man. Because your mother won't give you five dollars to go get a bag of weed, you fucking low life nigga. Or they took your cell phone. Took your fucking PlayStation away. Shit. You beat up your mama. Right. And it's this one Edomite, he killed his, his mom and dad or some shit for the insurance money. The nigga get caught, go to jail, and ask for the insurance money to bail himself. Nah, yeah, that nigga was bugged up. Yeah, yeah. Bugged up. <laughs> the nigga say, the nigga still trying to get money. This is on the Chicago, Chicago shit. Know that this is Chicago shit. No, no, no. Nah, this shit like. Oh, they ain't no, 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 no. He killed. He only had his mama, man. He, he hit her. The this dude who had the uh, mom had the beauty salon. Oh yeah, that nigga. From, oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga. That nigga the the big up. ass nose. Oh yeah, man. That's that's some nigga's bitch right now in jail. You best believe that nigga was that bitch tendencies. On the streets, the only reason you probably protect you got pistols. That's, that's a bitch ass looking nigga. That nigga name was Cornbread, I think. Oh, yeah. Like that on real way. Yeah, he got corn rolling right now. Yeah, he's going. 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 He's going
Homosexual activity. We don't, man. You get, hey, you, hey, you get vexed in the spirit when you think about the way that your people is living. Because we're really supposed to be righteous people, man. We're really supposed to be the, the what, the, the, the light of the earth. kings of the earth. I'm the the judge of the kings of the earth, man. Yeah. That's what we get ready to come back into, man. That's how we gotta get rid. We went. This is the great awakening right now, man. We get ready to shed this fucking nasty ass fat stuff, man. man. These real bodies there. Yeah, we got this snake skin on us from some so-called white man. We gotta get rid of it. Man. We gotta get rid of that fucking white spirit from our office, man. You can smell that white spirit on you, man. You fucking, you are you're self-centered. Eat up my spirit. Yeah. You're self-centered. What did you say? You're cocky. You wanna be a gangbanger? We yeah. get that from the East Side. You got it from that. Why you think you niggas gangbang? You got it from them white boys. You got it from them white gangsters. Yeah, you, you see them white gangsters punking up their neighborhood and robbing their people. Now you niggas want to rob your people. That's why the Lord killing so many of you niggas. That's right. Hey, nigga, when a nigga die, I celebrate when a nigga die, goddammit. Hey, y'all lucky we ain't getting loose yet. Hey, give me a first time to for many fishers than others. I love that verse. You lucky the men of the Lord ain't got loose yet on you niggas, man. And you fucking Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Hey, the black man, we gonna jump over a white man to get you, you motherfuckers, man. Because you serve no purpose. Yep. It's either you with the Lord or you're against the Lord, man. We ain't out here for us. No. Stupid motherfuckers, man. Read that, bro. This Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16. Behold, I was sent for many fishers, saying, Yahweh. Yeah, we fishing right now, man, with the word of God. That's how we're luring you in. We don't do that fishing hook out with the words. Ooh, that word sound good. Hey, I, I, I understand what he said. Yeah, I don't know. Israelites, yeah, I don't know. that makes sense. Okay, okay. Right. Read that again, brother. This Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I was sent for many fishes, saith the Lord. And that's why brothers is all over the place. No, brother, I'm only sent for black men in America to talk to the black men in America. I'm only sent for ISUBK to talk to niggas in America in Brooklyn and our Bronx. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm a sent for, um, and what's that other one? Um, GOCC and, um, Hey, talk to everybody. God love everybody. No, read it again, bro. This Jeremiah 16 and verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And they shall fish them. Us. We. Our. Elect. The elect of Yashar Allah, the prince of power. The Israelites from Abraham unto Isaac unto Jacob. Stop playing yourself, man. Stop fucking playing yourself, brother. You done made up a false doctrine and you running with it. Yes, so you're going to be destroyed in it. Because this is the truth. Go ahead, bro. It says, and after will I send for many hunters. Whoa, after what? I will send for many hunters. And after what? I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and from the holes of the of the rocks. See, I just got my nigga, my nigga hunt license, my Native American hunt license. I just got my Mexican hunt license, my Puerto Rican hunt license. My fucking Haitian hunt license, my Jamaican hunt license, man. A Negro in America hunt license. Yeah, man, Lord willing, man, he give us them licenses. That's right. Yeah, where you don't, hey, man, what does it mean you got license, man? You ain't finna get judged for playing these motherfuckers down when that time comes. Yeah, we gonna kill motherfuckers and get no judgment. That's what's coming. Men of the Lord, we gonna lay motherfuckers down and no judgment. Hey, the, hey, the Bible, God got his army too. God ain't just, man, God got his own army. 
Give me the book of Ezekiel, 37th chapter, man. This is Ezekiel chapter. Let's talk about the army. This is Ezekiel chapter. This is Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 1. It says, The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Man, we've been lost so long, man. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. It's time for the awakening, bro. Even the Lord, man, don't forget everything is going according to prophecy. Yeah, we're at the time where Russia's being awoken. <laughs> we're at the time where we're being awoken. Everything is going according to prophecy. We are at the right fucking time. You'd be like, man, what's going on, nigga? You are at the right fucking time in life. <laughs> Man, everything is balancing out. Everything is right where it needs to be, baby. Yeah. The white man is right where he needs to be. You're right where you need to be. We're right where we need to be, and everything's going to play out so perfect and so beautiful. So perfect and so beautiful. Yeah, man, the Lord is with us. The Lord is not with these devils. These devils only came in power so they could punish us, man. But what happened when they should come up, man? We're going to punish them. We're going to afflict them. We're going to oppress them. We gonna have these white people picking cotton like a motherfucker, man. Yep. And they can't take no sunlight. Imagine a white man on a cotton field, oh, man. man. He can't gonna take no sunlight. Up. Man, he gonna be fucking getting cooked. You white people gonna be getting cooked Look. on the fucking slave field, man. Hey, right. we, hey, I'm gonna have another white motherfucker beating your ass. I might have your woman beat your ass. I, I might have your wife beat your ass. Your kids beat your ass. Damn. Yeah, I'm bogus. Damn, man. I know they yeah. go get cooked. Uh, my brother had a, a white friend, right? He uh, did roofing for like a week or so. Man, that nigga was like crispy, crispy. You hear me, man? He's holding back everything. Burn the fuck up. Burn up. Hey, boys. This is Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 2. And caused me to pass by the roundabout. And behold, there were many in the open valley. Hey, let's be honest, man. These are black people right now. You are weak compared to your great grandparents. You are a joke compared to your forefathers. <laughs> Your forefathers had balls. <laughs> but you guys right now, look at you, you look like sim characters. The only thing that keep you going is your job, man. I had my job. I don't know where I would be without my nine to five. Where would I be without my wife, my wife? Where would I be without my kids? Nah, nigga, where the fuck would you be without God, nigga? Acknowledge some heavenly father, man. Right. Stop fucking giving these people power, man. Stop acknowledging these low life motherfuckers. Hey, man, listen, you wouldn't see this shit back in the 60s, 50s. Hey, no, keep on fucking, man. Gotta be somewhere else. You wouldn't see this shit back in the 50s and the 60s. Hey, hey, what we say, man? White boys don't walk around with big bitches. Hey, that, that's yeah, another no. sign of the white boy going down. He got a, he got a hefty hoe next to him. That's a black boy. He got a hefty hoe. You got cottage cheese oozing out the side of his fucking thighs, my nigga. Oh hey, yeah, look at that with shit. Inside and outside. Hey. Fat, nasty motherfucker. White boys don't like this type of woman. White boys want that type of woman. Hey, Pinto. They want this thin type of woman right here. They don't want that fat King Kong. Look at the bitch oh, just been over. Oh my God. All you see is fat, nigga. Oh my God. Hey, she got, yeah, pull that shit up, man. Stop disgusting the world. Fat motherfucker. And hey, they used to walk around like, in Spain. What you guys like that? Don't have naked and shit, man. Yeah, like that, man. Hey, look, it's comedy, but it's true. What do you say, white boys? Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. 
Now, that's what we're doing, man. The Lord has risen up his prophets, his teachers, the true leaders of his people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and have given them his doctrine. Hey, 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 come back to repentance, man. Do not stop being simple. You're not Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but you are the uh, true sons of Israel, true sons and daughters of Israel, man. That's right. Hey, the godly people. So act like it. It says, verse 5, Thus saith Yahweh power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Verse 6, and I will lay cycles upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and he shall live and he shall know that I am Yahweh. So the Heavenly Father is going to send down his spirit. Hey, hey, those prophets are going to preach that word and his nation is going to come back together. His people will stand upon their feet. You know, they'll be healed from all the uh, idolatries, abominations, man. And hey, flawed ways of life they was living. Hey, and they acknowledge their power, come back to the light. It says, uh, verse, verse 7, so I, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone, and when I behold, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them about, but there was no breath in them. Verse 9, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith Yahweh power come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Uh, verse 10, so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. Read that last line again. It says, and I prophesied, so I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Yeah, that's why you got bishops, you got teachers, you got preachers. God, man, look, we out here, man. The teachers, apostolites, yeah. The Lord is building up his army. Guess what? We fighting with words, baby. Mm -hmm. Why? Because before the white man got on that violent shit, he had to sit down and put a plan together. The Bible said he can't get no sleep unless he do what we can come. So these niggas was having them night meetings. Hey, man, how we gonna take over this land over here, guys? Yeah. We got, hey, hey, give me Psalms 83 right now. Right quick, brother. Yeah. How, how we gonna take these people down? <laughs> we gotta put a plan together. Yeah, because you couldn't just come against God's people without no plan. No, man, you gotta go get help. You gotta go get help, man. You got the fucking Karzai's, man. You got Ammon, you got Ishmael, you got Ham. This and everything is fucking written down, no. Man, we got a history of what fucking wicked parts. Why you think we feel the way we do? Right. This Psalms chapter 83 and verse one, a song or psalm of Asaph, keep not thou silence, O power, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O oh God, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult. No, we don't have no enemies. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Those people were in the past. They no longer, they no longer hate us. Thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Verse three: They have taken crafty counsel. It says, uh, verse three: They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. So when they came to the shores of America, when they came to the west coast of Africa, right? You notice your, your slaves didn't come to America with no clothes on. They didn't shave your beard off. They didn't shave your hair off. You, you didn't even know who you was. You didn't recognize yourself. You hear you was a nigga with a beard, with a long hair, <clears throat> garments, fringes, because you had Fort Judah, Fort Levi, Fort Benjamin, yeah. right? So you knew who the fuck you was on the west coast of Africa. And you wasn't calling yourself an African. Negro. You wasn't a Negro. You wasn't calling yourself no fucking Nigerian. Ghana. You wasn't calling yourself none of that bullshit, man. That's some imperialism shit, man. That's after the white man ate, just like in Egypt. After the white man took over Egypt, took over uh, Mizraim. Oh no, no more Mizraim, that's Egypt. Hey, when the white man took it over, over the world, what'd he do? He started naming the lands after his name. Yeah, let's get rid of that history, man. These people don't even know who they are. Let's name everything after us. Now you're an American after Americo Vaspucci. Now you're African after Scipio Africanus. You're Asian after Asia Africanus, man. Or whatever Asia, whatever these fuckers' names are. Vaspucci, whatever these cocksuckers' names, man. Yeah, hey, you're going after enemy names. I got a quick one. This song's 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their house shall continue forever. What would bring us down? What do you mean? Yeah, of course our house is going to continue forever. We got a military like no other on the earth. 
<laughs> Who can fuck with us? We got noobs. You know? Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. And hey, who else could this be talking about, man? The Bible clearly identifies who the wicked is, who the problem of the earth is, man. It's going back to that Psalms 83 and verse 4. <clears throat> they have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, that's why you don't know who you are, man. You're lost. You have no ID. Hey, hey what we used to call that one black dude we work with? No ID. Yeah, that nigga, he had a coon voice, boy. He was ready to kill for the white master. From the west side of Chicago. He come from fucking gangbanging city. But guess what? He had no idea who he was. No idea he was a brother, man. Hey, guys, hey, guess what? On the last day of work, he oh, turned yeah. on the white man. He found out. Oh, yeah, he realized he was a nigga. He tried to kill the boss. Hey, exactly. <laughs> oh, we, oh, yeah. oh, we, we tried to tell him, hey, brother, man, we're going to get out of this spirit. I remember this male came by and said something like that. Like, no, no, guys. Guys, why? Guys, you can't talk like this, guys. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, 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 guys, 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 you can't talk like this, guys. <laughs> so that last day, man, the white boss come tell him to do something. Man, out of nowhere, man, fuck you. I ain't doing nothing to <laughs> Me and Drew, we look at each other. Hell no, this nigga tripping. <laughs> Hey, yeah, the spirit of us finally hopped on him. And that was his last day at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga ain't had it. We had some trouble. Oh, the Lord wasn't with you. Yeah, <laughs> the Lord with us. We could talk like that, but you can't. And not only that, we tried to explain to the weak figures and weak figures who he was. He opened his heels to others. No, no, he can eat with us. He was so stuck on the, on the scripture. These are equal people to us, brother. Yeah. What are you talking about? Boy, I, I go to church, man. They talk equal as zoo. That reality is. Yeah. 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 Man, we, we at the we park. We, we look at yeah. something. We had to escort him out. It's our job. It's our job. We had to escort yeah. him out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> After we just told him what it was. After we told him. Bro, calm down, yeah. bro. Listen, man. We're the chosen people. Man. I don't want to hear none of this. <laughs> okay, all right. No problem. <laughs> Lost his perfect. That was his perfect job, too. What? Because he had good hours, good shit. He had the best hours, bro. They love his He was the only black dude on the job at nighttime getting paid. This hamburger help This Psalm chapter 83 and verse 4. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, they don't want you to. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. And ain't no more, ain't no more um, remembrance of Israel in, the, in this land, man. You go to church, hey, y'all, y'all so called, uh, 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 what they call them? Uh, you the Gentiles? Oh, we we Gentiles, we the Gentiles. Ham. You know what I'm saying? We ham. We 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 We, we all these other people. You don't want to be an Israelite. Soon you tell, hey, you know you an Israelite, man. Look, I ain't no Israelite, man. Don't don't don't, don't do that, man. Don't put me into that, man. Ain't too much. That's the things right there. Oh no, brother. No, 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 that, that ain't us. us. That ain't me, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, right. Okay. 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 And, but the scriptures point directly to you. Everything in the scriptures point directly to you. Black, Latinos, Native. The 12 tribes of Israel. It don't point to no other group on this planet, man. Everybody else cool. Everybody else rich. Everybody else got their own land. Everybody else doing fine. You ain't doing fine. You got to go beg all these other people for your wants and your needs, man, like the scriptures say, man. Verse, uh, this Psalms 83 and verse 5 for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And hey, 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 every year, man, they have those uh, UN meetings, man. Yep. Every UN nation meeting. got a seat up there, such as well, Negroes, Latinos, and they go back to man. And it. what they doing in that, man? Finding out more ways to keep your ass innocent and oppressed so that their kingdom can continue and yours be and not be established. Yep. Yep. They said they'll come to uh, six days ago. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the great yeah. nation, the Biden's up there smiling too. And, 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 and in America, Everybody think this is slow old sleepy Joe Biden. Oh, when Joe Biden get in front of other elites and leaders in the country, man, he's geez. far from a sleep. Boy, well, well, you should have seen how big Joe was reacting to the movie, man. <laughs> man hey, all these motherfuckers are good is. actors, man. They're real good actors, man. This Psalms chapter 83 and verse 6, the tabernacles of Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, yes, and the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, of Moab, the Chinese, and the Hagarines. It says, uh, verse 7, Jabal and Ammon, the Japanese, and Am Amalek, hey, hey, uh, that, uh, the, the small hatters. Yeah. <laughs> it says the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Assur also is joined with them. They have hoping the children of Lot say Lot, man. So hey, every other nation 
hey, ultimately it's trying to keep your Israelites cast down. Not not calling yourselves Israelites, calling yourself blacks. That's why you got the uh that's why you got the small headers that, that that own fucking everything. They push all this fucking filth through the music industry. Yep. And you Israelites eat it up. They got Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B whores, promoting yep. to you women to be whores. And these and, and these women got husbands. These niggas got people that they dealing with, but they coming out putting music telling you, hey look, fuck that nigga. Go suck another nigga dick, get on another nigga's drop. If he ain't doing this, that, and the other. Hey, that's some pure D madness, man. But hey, guess what? Our people are, uh, they, they have, these are the uh, so-called uh, in-house Negroes that, that want money, that, that want to be on the master and shit. You know what I'm saying? That is sold out. These people have sold, they have sold their people out, man, literally. Yeah. They, they don't give a fuck about you, man. They care about themselves and their wealth and, and they so-called family. You, as, a, as you being a part of their people, they cannot care about you. They cannot deal with you. Why do you think so many um, rappers right now, rappers, I think the uh, basketball players start, start doing this too. They're, in, they're investing in so-called prisons. Why? Because of the rap music, because of the movies, because of the TV shows. It's all about what? Gang banging, drug dealing, Ratchetness, holiness, all type of wickedness, man. And guess what? When you look in the when you look at TV and then you come out on the street, what do you see? You see the same thing that you seen on TV out in the streets, man. Because that's all they do. They mimic what's on the TV. They they've been put, they they've been selling out for the longest. They've been doing that for decades. Come on, man. This ain't nothing. New. This uh, Micah chapter three. I'm gonna go back to that songs, but this Micah chapter three and verse. Eight, it says, but truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. And the Lord has risen up his prophets, the true leaders of his people, that are telling, that are reproving his people, telling them to put the drugs down, put the dumbass music and dumbass items that don't profit you down, put the foods that's destroying you down and showing you what you weigh, right? Yeah, Versus, a lot of you uh, black people, man, you don't have limbs cut off because of what you eat. Yeah, oh, it's hereditary! It's hereditary! Yeah, because your daddy ate that shit. They, your, your grandmother ate that shit. That. It's a red But it is, because their parents ate that bullshit yeah, yeah, also, yeah. bro. But it's not, it's not, it's not literally yes. in your bloodline. It's not, that's what we say, it's not literally in your bloodline. It's what's been passed down from generation to generation. The traditions. The tradition that's been passed down onto you, that's why you catch the same diseases of, the, of, of your family, man. That's why the family members are, yeah, we, we, get, we, we know for having diabetes. Oh, we know for having all <laughs> the They wrong with it. They We, 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 we know for having all these different diseases because yeah. the food that you, you consume in your body, man, you pass around. it down. Go ahead, dog. You motherfuckers look like seals. Come on, man. <laughs> Big ass seals, man. This <laughs> Micah chapter three and verse nine. <laughs> Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob and princes of the house of Israel that abhor judgment and pervert all equity, they build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The hands thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet would they lean upon the Lord and say, it's not the Lord among us. They, they what? They divine they for, money. for money. The only reason they talk is because they get paid for it. That's it. And um, they're not talking something that could benefit you. Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're true. Man, look, man, hey, man, look, you want to make more money? Come to my church. Come to my church. And yeah, I pray over your money. Bring that I'll credit pray card. Over. I pray hey, over that credit card. I put some holy right, water on your. Hey, 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 I put some holy water After on your private spots card, and all that I'm shit. I'm gonna give you the blessing, man. Hey, look, man. These, oh yeah, man. One duty, man. Hey, man, your pussy. Something wrong with your pussy, man. Come on, man. Over in Nigeria. Yeah. Them niggas in the West Coast yeah, say man, Christianity they wild another level. Yeah, they wild now. Yeah. Another nigga took a bunch of women to the beach and had them bent over and bent over on the booty hole. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, you, you, look. You brothers this, from the oh West Coast, God. Lord gonna fuck you up. Y'all about to get it, man. Lord gonna tell you about up. Y'all about to get it. This, this Micah chapter 3 and verse 11, the heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. Hey, 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 everybody is corrupted in a black community. Hey, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. The religion that you're taught is corrupted. The, hey, the leaders that you're, uh, that's brought up is corrupted. The fucking, hey, the superheroes, your leaders, all corrupted, man. By who? Hey, the self proclaimed white man, the devil, it says, and the. And, and you said, uh. That, and, uh what, what, what do you say? It says, they teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. For money. Because y'all always got to go in here. Look, they got the ATM on the outside, the ATM on the inside. They got niggas with their hands out. They got collection plates. But guess what? Yeah. The word is to be told, not sold. So guess what? 
it's, hey, ain't no reason. When the Lord come back, ain't no, and you ain't got no fucking excuse. Because he already gave you instructions on who you should be listening to, man. It's the men of the Lord that we out here. Guess what? We do this week in, week out. We ain't at the clubs. We ain't kicking it. We ain't doing none of that. We out here serving and uh, doing what the Lord want us to do, man. We warning our people. We trying to wake our people up, man. And not everybody, just the elect. Because we trying to get the fuck out of here, man. But, hey, we doing the job of Yahweh Shemal. What's up? Hey, I believe it's in Proverbs. It says, buy the truth and sell it not. And sell it not. Uh, but you, you niggas, you, you so-called churches is doing what? You selling the word of Yahweh Shemal Yahweh Shemal, man. Y'all selling this word, man. And when the people find out, man, you niggas gonna get dealt with. And I mean, honestly, they're not even selling the word. They're selling something. Well, they yeah, the word. yeah, yeah, not the word. You, you're right. You're right. You selling something, but we know you ain't selling the word of Yahweh Shemal Yahweh Shemal Yahweh You selling a bunch of bullshit. Y'all breakdown. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all breakdown. Ain't got shit to do with the Lord. No, this is a ten dollar precept, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Man, come on. Ten dollar precept. Ten dollar precept. Ten dollar precept. You gotta sit in the proper. Lay hands on you. It's two fifty. Oh man, they say yeah. Holy water. Twenty dollar prayers going up the back. We got twenty dollar prayers. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. We got the steps. We got value one. We got value two and value three. It's true. Sending your donation on the TV screen. <laughs> oh my God! They got rich. They got rich. Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 But hey, look, you know the true man of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh How many times we asked you for a dollar or a dime? You know how many people came out here trying to give us money, and, and, and we ain't take it. Hey, look, we now here for the money, man. We out here, hey man. We hey. out here. Who's the only people flying around in jet time? Oh, the rich people. No, the the preachers. The the oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, what you say? Hey, the rich people. Hey, hey what do you he say? Hey, Donald. he told his church, man, I need a motherfucking like, check. You, you, what was you that? Two, two, three million dollars? Uh, you you know, tripping. Like, you tripping. Like, no, you tripping. Are you serious? Hey, this is the Chicago beat town. Man, that nigga sounds all fucked up. That's how you know you're in Chicago. <laughs> you can't hear no music. All you hear is rattling. Rattling is the beat. Hey, what that? Chicago? Yeah, that sound like Chicago. Hey. That's in Chicago, no words. Hey, the Lord's so cold with it. And, 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 and the Lord tell you in the Old Testament, Isaiah 55, man. He tell you in the New Testament, hey, look, the truth ain't to be bought. No. no. Bought? No, so. Be told, no, not to be sold. Just to be told. Man. That's it. No. Freely have you received. Freely. Freely have you should give, yeah. man. Yes. And, and y'all and y'all understand what tithing mean, man. Tithing ain't the mean to give it to your fucking pastor. And not those pastors, goddammit. You're supposed to give it to the real people. You're supposed to give it to the real pastors. Hey, we used to give it to, uh, uh, the, uh, the Levites, man, because they was our priests. The Levites, then after that, we would spread it to the rest of the people that that didn't have as much as everybody else. That was what Tithing was for, man. Not so your priest could get him a nice car. Right. Or a Cadillac. Or a mansion. Hey, 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 come on. Man, so he, he saw some boat. He said, uh, you gave Tyler Perry $10 million, for a jet. I just wanted to buy this one real fast, man. Can you help me out, please? I'm dying, man. Oh, yeah, he, he said. Sits on the other oh, you said he sold Tyler Perry. He's got it, yeah. <laughs> the whole congregation is so well. But the past are rich as fuck. Hey, they get getting put out. Hey, the lights get cut off. The gas get cut off. Hey, I can't pay my condo. Guess what the preacher said? I'm going to pray for you, sister. I'm going to pray that, Lord, you got faith. He's going to take care of it for you. And, and, and that's all he do for you, man. This man got money. He got jets. He got limousines. He got mans. He got everything, but he can't help you with it. Hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, right. three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, right? Four hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Man, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. That man's supposed to be talking about some man. That's no problem, sister. We got you. We gonna right. take care of that. Right. Or, or, like, like yeah. we do amongst the brotherhood. When somebody in need, guess what? We make sure we get it together, and that brother take care of man. That's the same thing the church supposed to be doing. But they don't do that. They tell you to pray on. Pray on you. You'll be just like me one day. Pray to you too. To JC, where you at? <laughs> they say pray to him, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. Just pray to him, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be all right. This Micah, let's continue on. And this Micah, it says, Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, It's not the Lord among us. None evil can come upon us. Now, all your leaders, man, they all try to reverence God or whatever, man, but they lean you to the slaughter. It says, And they rush really uh, reverencing Satan, really. And, and this all your, uh, your so called celebrity. Cause not a lot of your celebrities, they got so-called TV shows where they want to want to give you counseling and talk spiritual and all this other bullshit, man. They just continually leave you, hey, they, hey, you know, in the darkness. Yeah, in the darkness. The Lord is, I mean, not the Lord, but Satan is 
very crafty. Very, very crafty in his wickedness, man. And you people fall for it every time. I was glad to see him. Hey, the tribute say Marvel not saying himself has transformed himself to an angel of light. That's right. But hey, the men of the Lord are not in that darkness. The Lord is revealing his secrets oh, unto the service of prophets. The prophets are hey, going on to the rooftop telling you people, man. Right. But right. hey, you hey, you people love those smooth words, man. This is Micah chapter 3 and verse 12. Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps, and a mountain of the house as the high places of the forest. That's why you're nobody in America, Mr. Black, Hispanic, and Latino man. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. it's not working out for you, and it's not supposed to work out for you, man. You know what? What's part of being an Israelite all about? You got to call your power. Huh? You got to beg your God, man. You got to beg your God, man. Hey, you're the Lord's woman. Hey, you're the Lord's woman, and guess what? There's a wedding that's coming. There's a wedding that's coming. That's us joining you back to our power. If you're not begging, He don't want you. Hey, we messed up, so we got to beg our way back to the Lord. Yeah, we got to plead our way back to the Lord, man. Yeah. We got to come become a living sacrifice. Yeah. Oh, you really love me? Sacrifice yourself. Yeah. And that's what we've been doing, man. We out here Friday faithful. We could be at the club. We could be hanging with our uh, women or a hooker or a whore. We could we be at home relaxing. Chilling, just playing a video <laughs> game, feet up, having a party or get together, playing cards, gambling. Oh, yeah. so it, it's a lot of stuff that we could be doing every Friday. Guess what we choose to? Brother, why you say every Friday? Every day. Every, every day. Sunday, you got to push this word every right. day. Right. Every day. Every day. We, hey, we don't take no days off, man. Because it's always somebody asking, acquiring, something you got to say about Yahweh Shai on a daily basis. Even if we don't talk to nobody, we got to do our videos on a daily basis. Hey, cause, cause right now, we're uh, we curious about the Lord. We're purifying ourselves, man. Like you know said, man, it's a marriage where everybody's uh, the elect are invited to this marriage, man. Not the world, but the elect are invited to this marriage, man. Not the two thirds. The Lord deals with a, a select few, you know. And that's a blessing, man. And we're going to confess that the Lord's name and, you know, and our people's wrongdoings and tell them to come part of that wrongdoing they're doing, man. While, while the hand is stretched out, man. It's a great call, like we speak about earlier, man. Everything was for a point in time, man. The Lord uh, chose his prophets. Go on the highways and byways at a point in time, man. We could do this in the uh, 50s, the 60s, the 70s, 80s, 90s, you know? Well, we're not brothers, we're not brothers. Yeah, yeah. Certain men that were doing it, hey, the apostles, man, they were out there a long time right. before the truth, that internet spirit hopped yeah, on the, the rest right. of the men. Yeah, right. Like the brother said, everything is for an appointed time, man, but what? At the end, it shall speak. And it's speaking, the words are speaking, man. America's not the same America you once knew, man. Hey, man, your fucking parents ain't even together no more, nigga. The fuck you talking about? It used to be a two-parent household, man. Yeah, he used to be motherfuckers going to school. Hey, this drug infestation, that was a thing of the past, man. What you got now? Gang banging, drug addiction, suicide, murder, unemployment. <laughs> Everything. Everything going down, man. Hey, hey, you said we went from a two-parent household. So, no. Hey, yo, hey, so no parent household. Now it's a two. What did you just say, little man, run the whole house? Yeah, hey, so. why? Because your mama suck your dick down this way. Yeah, so you got to pick yourself that clean, you got to sit that clean. Hey, how many kids done died because their mothers went to the club that night uh, and these little niggas went around the store trying to cook something, burn the whole house up? <laughs> hey, you black bitches got a lot to fucking yeah. pay for, man. Hey, you fucking shit women. I got a family member that died like that. Y'all always trying to blame it on the men. Y'all got the men was, What happened when the men was in the house? Hey, when the men was in the house, Lord. matter of fact, when the woman wasn't even in the house, the, the kids was always in fucking order. Exactly. The devil is smart. I told you he's very fucking crafty. He knew if he took the children from the fucking man, took him out of the house and gave it to the woman, she would be just, he would just, she would destroy everything. Why? She's, not, she's not wise. The Lord didn't say, give she's her not wisdom. A leader. She's not a ruler. No, he didn't no give her knowledge, leader. wisdom, and understanding. You got Kamala Harris. What did Kamala Harris stone for laughing? But, uh, they said, Kamala, how do you feel about World War III? <laughs> 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 I bet you're gonna bust that oh, like a joke. Right. I said, call it a joke. Great. Look at Hillary Clinton. The bitch died three times on her Come fucking on. Uh, <laughs> trying to work for president. They had to push her in the van one time. Man, that drug in the van. Yeah. Then threw in that motherfucker. The bitch she died three times on and at one time, and at one time when they, um, they she had supposed to go into the building and shit, and she had fainted and all that, then they had the stunt dump, stunt dump, stunt dump come out. Come out. Come Look on, nothing man. like the bitch. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. That, that's another. Your stunt doubles don't even look like the people y'all trying to portray. Um, you got um, what's the other thing? Actors. Look, she's what's that one actor thing that um? No, when they had these fuckers making up fake false flags. Yeah, false flag. They had actors coming back like they were crying. Oh yeah, hey, but hey, they look, caught them laughing right, right before they hit the floor. Some of your celebrities and they children. Man, they showed so many of these Oprah Winfrey and I think it was her daughter or some shit with that, with that, um, oh, the, uh, that uh, Sandy Hook good. shit. Sandy Hook shit, they all outside, uh, talking about no makeup on or nothing, trying to look like somebody else. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. Work, you work. know what I'm saying? Because you know, that is it, 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 it's witchcraft. Yep. When you put the makeup on, you look like somebody right totally here. different. You take it off, they like, who the fuck is that? I don't know who the fuck that bitch is. Malmotion. Malmotion. Charm. That's a whole way. 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 That's a Get that fucking scary spirit out your fucking body, my nigga. Get that scary. King David wasn't afraid of a motherfucking thing, man. Hey, man. Hey, nigga, you already in fucking hell, nigga. You behind enemy lines. What the fuck you afraid of, nigga? Come on, man. Nigga, you already dead, motherfucker. What the fuck you afraid of? You ain't got no dead life. Man walking. Hey, man, what you afraid of, man? Fuck fear. Get that shit out your system, nigga. I got if you die tonight, so what, nigga? You in paradise. Hey, yeah, you ain't suffering no more. Hey. You ain't here with us. Hey, you, you know ain't no saying? longer here crying like a motherfucking Come bitch on, upset man. about your life, nigga. Fuck this place, nigga. I got this Sirach 30, 30 the priest after the brother. This Sirach chapter 30 and verse 3. It says, uh, if I start verse 2, it says, He that chastises his son shall have joy in him and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. It's funny. I used to chastise my son. But when my demon pulled a wicked move, my son started chastising her. Hell no, Pops was cool. Hell no, don't go around talking bad about Pops. What the fuck you talking about, man? Pops was a man, yeah. I try to keep shit going. All that, all that other bullshit y'all was on. Man, fuck that, man. I ain't being in no house where shit ain't out of order. Shit out of order. And that's the importance of the Israelite man. You know, yep. you know but the devil man. trying to break us down and break that nuclear family structure apart. Okay, look, leave that nigga. We're going to give you Section 8 yeah. food stamps. Yes. That's that why he you, can't come near the kids. And I don't want to come near. You know why. what? Hey, man, hey, you belong to Satan right now. You, unless you're the elect, you belong to Satan. Any kid I got in my life, man, you ain't with me. You ain't in this truth. Hey, man, I, I see brothers in the truth when they father and son preaching. So, man. My kids ain't with me, nigga. Fuck you, you little motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, man. I don't give a fuck mm -hmm. about you like that. Nigga, who my mother? Who my get that verse when yeah. somebody get a chance? Who's my, my mother, mother, my sister, brother, my sister, sister, my sister, motherfuckers sister, my in our family, man. Huh. Hey, you don't believe in your how about shimmy outside? Because guess what? I have no family without your how about shimmy outside. I have no life without your how about shimmy outside. So I must put him first before you little motherfuckers, man. And all you are, man, you, you don't belong to me, nigga. Yeah, you're our kids, but. You belong to God. <laughs> At the end of the day, everything belongs to the Heavenly Father, man. So, yeah, we're going to give reverence to him to the Lord. That's why it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Your woman's in the world. Your kids are in the world. Your mother's in the world. You're in the world. You don't even love yourself. I walked uh, past the mirror, though, they almost up strapped with that motherfucker. Hey, man, I killed my crib, oh, man. Shit. Oh, shit. oh, shit, let me put that yeah, thing on. My bad. Hey, yeah, man, because, man, I'm not feeling my spirit. It's a lot of times I don't feel my spirit, bro. Come on, man. For you to even feel your spirit in this world, there's something wrong with you. Oh, Chinese movie. Oh, Flat thing. It's uh, Matthew uh, 12 and 50. It says, uh, For whosoever does the will of, of my Father in heaven is my my brother and sister and mother Let's go back man. a little more man because some, some people came to talk to him they say so man they said lord your mother and your brothers outside they want to talk to you so bad man what you gonna do man he said hey man look man look i'll interrupt this meme again bro hey what's wrong with you man look over here this is my mother this is my brother this is my sister those that do the will of your how about shimmy so that's what i'm dealing with if you ain't doing the will of the lord man um i don't like you yeah, I have no love for it. I love my mother, of course, because I have to. Yeah, yeah. It says, um, you gotta, man, you gotta respect your mom, man. Think about it. That's the only motherfuckers you can't put to death, your mother and your father. I know. Ain't that crazy? 
But your brother, your they, sister? They, they, look, they done taught you all this motherfucking bullshit and wickedness, nigga, that you can't put them in death. Honor thy hey, mother and thy father. Hey, Lord, Lord said it, you gotta run with it. That's a good sir. Father, the preeminence is right. This Matthew chapter 12. This is Matthew oh, chapter shit. 12 and verse 40. Jet Lee! Jet Lee! That nigga put up a whole sword out there. What the fuck? Hey, look, these people don't watch too much movies. See, they don't see too much Hollywood, man. We gotta make fun. Look at this. This is a Hollywood character. Yeah, right That's some Hollywood he got, shit he right got there. Got the whole outfit on. He got, got the, the whole outfit on, bro. So you got a whole, you got a whole section called Argyle. They like bugged out. It's like Little Vietnam. I know yeah. some guys over there used to work. It's called Sit High School over here, and um. They used to have uh, gang wars with these guys. Oh, yeah. They used to come pull up swords. Like, these oh, these guys dudes used to walk down the street with swords, and Jake couldn't have nothing, man. So, yeah, they'd be in war with Jake. We ain't gonna lie to you. Had a sword on them. Right now, this place got weak. If oh, you yeah. go back 20 years ago, yeah, it was a little different. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's From right different. here all the way to fucking downtown on, Chicago, man. nothing but gang banging Mexicans. Mm. And them oh, niggas did not play. <laughs> oh, yeah, them niggas did not play. They'll spray your ass in a minute. And white. Right now, all you see is white people. They got rid of all the Hispanics, all the blacks. I'm like, man, fuck this up. And one dude told me, I'm sitting in the barber shop. He said, yeah, they got a plan, man. This is 96. <laughs> he said, they got a plan, man. They about to move all the blacks and Hispanics out of the neighborhood, man. We in the barber shop. Like, right. Get your goofy ass out of here. That, that's a lot of people you got to move. Come on. Yeah. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. It's it's a, hey, hey. They did it in stages. They did everything in stages. I can't believe it, man. The dude, man, I can't believe it. This all used to be blacks and Hispanics, bro. You wouldn't see one white motherfucker walking around here, bro. Not nothing but white people. Gentrification. Gentrification like a mob, man. That devil owns something. I'm trying to figure out where did they go? Where did the blacks and Hispanics go? They, they put them out in the south, south and the west side. OK, work, work. South and the west side. Hey, look, south, south, south. when they took all the projects south. down, what do you, what do you think they, they took them? They, they, they sent them up Suburbs, the, the west side, north side, south side. They they, they sent these niggas from projects everywhere. Cause crime and, it, and guess what? Since they did that, crime went up. Every crime went up everywhere. everywhere. Ain't no place ain't there where it ain't been touched of crime right now. Yeah. Hey, more signs of America going down. That was a strategic plan. Hell I watched yeah. the video. He said, "Yeah, we're building up these projects, and at the end, we're gonna release them on the people." That's what the news do. That's dude, what he said. Man, the motherfucking news dude said, "Yeah." Government is building up these projects. It's like a 1983 video. He said, but at the end, we're gonna release them on all the people. Damn. That's crazy. He's so wicked as fuck. You hear me? This devil don't give a fuck about shit. Nothing. He didn't set he didn't set you people up and y'all don't even know it. Y'all don't even know it. He didn't set y'all up for a great, a great fall. He didn't deceive. Two thirds of our people, but they love him more than they love Yahweh Shimia Shot. Say thanks to the devil. Say thanks to uh, Esau. You know what I'm saying? The left hand man. Yeah. Say thanks to the devil. And the Lord don't want you. Somebody give me the book of Isaiah 6, and let's start at the 6th verse. Yeah, man, you gotta realize the Lord is not um, a nice guy. The word nice is stupid. <laughs> yeah. The Bible said he is a man of war. Yeah, go try the man of war. Go walk up with a man of war and crack a joke and see if he laughs. A lot of men in the war, they don't laugh. Does, does Vladimir Putin, when the fuck you see Vladimir Putin laughing? I ain't never seen this man. Thank you, brother. <laughs> he ain't about that happiness, man. You gotta realize you in a docile spirit because they wanted you to be soft. They don't want you to have that black mentality. Oh yeah, let's stand up for our rights. No, they want black you to be a fucking black, rapper, black, black, an black. entertainer, a comedian, a football player, nigga. They don't want you to be a socialist, an activist. They don't want you to return back to your roots. Hell no. Oh hell no. Man, we need this nigga rapping. We need this nigga acting, man. We need this nigga jumping, running. Yeah, hey, you see what all of what he just said? They don't come again. They, they don't fuck, really fuck with them people like that. But when you get to talking about you, a uh, so-called Israelite, I'm a man. I'm from the Judah tribe, Levi, anything like that, man. Look, they, that's when they come down on you. That's when they put you out in the media and make everybody think that you crazy. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no sense. He crazy. He ain't got no sense, man. Don't listen to that, man. Look, look. We, hey, we about to pick his ass up right now. Take him to the crazy hoes.
leave him in there for about 20 days, then hey, bring him back out. The Lord about to turn the heat up on him. Hey, man, you got Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson at a restaurant. Bug that nigga come out of nowhere talking about Shalom. The same week you got a fucking... With a pistol? Yeah. With a pistol, you know what I'm saying? The same week you got a senator talking about the Israelites. Why you think our name popping up so much, man? They about to make moves. God damn. They about to make moves, man. Hey, the, the, the white man is setting up this new world order. And guess what? We're a threat to this new world order. We're exposed to it. Yeah, these people don't give a fuck. These people are docile, man. They're looking for the next um, hamburger. TikTok. Oh, yeah, the next TikTok video. They're looking for the next fucking TikTok video, man. The word America means um, confusion, man. America, confusion. That's what you're dealing with right now, confusion. You got wicked people looking at, you're looking at wicked people as they're the righteous people, and you're looking at the righteous people as they're the wicked, wicked people. people. And, and, and what the Lord said, I'm going to make a, what he says, uh, evil is good. Woe to them that call evil good. No, 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 not woe to them, it's, it's the other spirit. I will turn things upside down. Man. Yeah, like, like, we go, like, sure, the evil that everybody down. see, like, 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 we probably gang bang, we probably, you know what I'm saying? That we was pimps and all this shit, but he gonna make those people righteous. You know what I'm saying? The elect. We ain't perfect people. You know what I'm saying? We went through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And now people looking at us like, nigga, you did this. Well, first off, they don't know us. First off, they don't know us. No, no, I ain't saying they, that. They, they don't know who the, all they see is men out here with these signs, man. They don't know who the fuck we are. Fuck these personal family niggas in our life. The Lord got us out here talking to a fucking nation of people, these fat new fucking people. The Lord got us talking to all these people out here, man. They don't know us. All they going by is what the presence. They see Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Zebulon, Simeon. Yeah, man, we trying to wake. We're trying to wake you up. If you don't want to wake up, don't wake up. You don't. Hey, hey, give me the book of Revelations 22 right quick, God. Let's start at the fifth verse. The Bible said, "He that is filthy, let be him be filthy." Still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous. righteous dude. And here you go, this nigga filthy as fuck. He just killed his mom three weeks ago. Hey, brother, you got the truth, brother. I know you mm -hmm. killed your mama. Come on, man. You look like Hey, man, leave this man alone, man. The <laughs> Lord ain't dealing with this nigga. This nigga just killed his mom three weeks ago. No, brother, I got to give him the truth, brother. I'm just giving you an example of how stupid you guys are. Hey, you trying to bring the truth. The Bible said, go to somebody who's worthy of repentance. Go ahead, brother. Worthy. Uh, brother, say worthy. Not anybody. But somebody that you, that you can, who you talking to, you like, all right, man, he's worthy of the truth. Oh, he he's he's listening, you know what I'm saying? He ain't bucking up, he's sincere. sincere. You know what I'm saying? He listening, he, he ain't telling, no, nah, brother, no, nah, no, nah, but when I said this, I, I believe it is, no. Nah. Brother that listen to you, that's sincere, then you give him the truth. But the brother that's telling you, no, nah, you wrong and all this other extra stuff, hey, man, look, that, that Lord ain't dealing with him, man. This Revelation chapter 22 and verse 11, it says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let them be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And Lord got everything in order, man. It's perfect. Lord order is perfect, man. You can't go off by listening and doing things in your house by Shabbat It's perfect. His plan, his way is perfect. If you go outside of it like the churches do, Law, Statutes, Commandment is done the way we we don't deal with the Old Testament. You ain't dealing with Yahweh by Shimei was shot. You're not dealing with the Lord, man. You're dealing with the, the will with the will of men. You know what I'm saying? You're following the ways of men. Not Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Yep, verse 12, it says, And behold, I come quickly, my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Works. Works, man. We out here doing the work of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, man. This is the works he's talking about, man. Coming out here facing our enemies, we facing two-thirds of our people, and waking up the elect. You know what I'm saying? We're doing our jobs, man. This Revelation 22 and verse 13, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, but they blessed. may have right. We say blessed. Blessed are they that do his commandments, man. We are here, hey, we follow the commandments of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah to the best of our ability. Are we perfect? Hell no. We ain't perfect. But we trying. But we trying. 
You know what I'm saying? And when we fall off and we know that we fell off, we pray and we ask the Lord, Yahweh about Shem for forgiveness, man. We strive for it, all right? We strive. Hey, 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 we try to be perfect men. Like, like, like those perfect men in the Bible. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Verse 15, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever love them and make them alive. And that's two thirds of our people. Two thirds of our people, you fucking heathens, man. You dogs, you liars, you ain't shit. You, 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 you hey, that's what the mistress for, you people, man. You people, man. Lord coming to destroy you people because y'all don't care about y'all about Shema Y'all didn't do what the man said, man. Y'all did opposite of y'all about Shema Y'all did opposite of the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Y'all didn't follow. Y'all didn't listen to the prophets. Go ahead, I'll pull you this. I, this uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? What? The unrighteous will not what? Inherit the kingdom of the Most High. The unrighteous will not. Now, how do you know that you unrighteous? Because those who are unrighteous, you follow the churches and you do what? You do not keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You preach that they have been done away with. And, it's, and the scripture says, not one drop, not one tittle of the law shall pass until all things be fulfilled, man. Everything has not been fulfilled. We're not in the kingdom of heaven, so everything hasn't been fulfilled. So we got to continue to follow the law of such commandments that the Lord told us to follow, to order to be saved, to order to get out of this hell hole, man. Now I have a chance. It says, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Damn, did, did, did you hear? Wait a minute, the Lord, hey look, he didn't cross every I, he didn't dot, I mean, he, he didn't dot every I, he didn't cross every T, he didn't do everything, and that scripture told you about everything that the Lord don't want, period. He ain't dealing with. He's not dealing with none of everything he said, he ain't dealing with that. But you in the church, you say fuck that, you can be free, you can do, fly, spread your wings, do whatever the hell you want to do. Come as you are. Come as you are. Hell no, the Lord say no. Nope. If you don't follow the laws, that's the commandments that I've given you, hey, I'm going to destroy you. He's going to get rid of you, man. Plain and simple. You're going to be out of here, man. Man, <laughs> God. Yeah, well, verse 11, it says, And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach and by the spirit of our power. So as it said up in that revelation, they blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may enter into that city, man. They, those that's uh, seeking the Lord while he may be found, they actually turn it from transgression in Jacob, so we may be covered by the blood of the Lamb and not be uh, found uh, uh, covered in our sins, a, a found idolatrous, found given over unto this world, man. You know? And they are following the doctrine which gives us the way uh, how we may walk, you know, so we can straighten up our wings and fly right. You know? That's why we that's why we love the scriptures, man. They give us guidance, man. It says knowledge and wisdom is shall be disability of our time, man. And where you get your knowledge and wisdom from? From these scriptures, man. From these books. Without that book, man, you hey, hey, you lost. You ain't gonna make it. You ain't going nowhere, man. You might think that you hey you you having a good time, you doing a good deed, because you go to church every Sunday, hey man, look, y'all far off from the truth. This Ephesians chapter two and verse uh, one, it says, and you have been quickened who are dead and trespasses and sins. And there was a point in time where we walked according to this world, you know? That's right. And we was away from our heavenly yeah. father, you know? Hey, the St. Benji made the video, hey, we failed in patience. Hey, we was away from, hey, it talks about, I believe it's in like Colossians, Talks about a time when we were without Hamashiach. But it says, verse 2, where in time past he walked according to the course of this world. You know, hey, hey we lived, you know, we had so called aspirations. Dream. I'm trying to make it. We did all you know? that. Hey, that. We're going to make it after all. <laughs> <laughs> we did all that, bro. Hey, but look, hey, hey. The Lord had his plan. 
we hey, we had a plan. Guess what? That that wasn't the Lord plan. So uh, and the Lord was dealing with us. Hey, hey man's going is what? The way of the Lord, man. Our, the hey, our going ain't of us, man. The Lord showed us the way. The Lord took us to things, and guess what? We ended up where? Here, where the Lord wanted us to be. Nobody else directed our path but Yahweh Shem Yahweh Yep. This uh, Ephesians 2 and 2, where in time past, he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And we was all under the influence of a, a, a Satan. A, a, a who's, who's uh, coming in the power of Satan? He saw even the self-proclaimed white men. It says, verse 3, among whom also we had our conversation, our conduct, our manner of life, and times past, like, and the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of our flesh and of mind. We walked around with no true guidance, no true morality. We just did whatever shit, whatever we came did. natural. We, not not oh, natural. We, we did what came from uh, from our TV. We did what came from our uh, movies. The we flesh. did what we came from the uh, 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 the music industry. We were sensual. You know what I'm saying? We were set up, but those who didn't know the truth. You fell in it deeply, and you stayed in there because that's what the Lord wanted you to be. But the elect, he showed us these things and brought us out of these things mm -hmm. so we could be prophets to prophesy. Right. And, and, and Usher to in the kingdom. kingdom. Thank you. Huh? It says, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. And we was on that path of pure destruction. Oh, you know? But the man. Lord gave us that light, man. Now we looking at that path like we don't want, oh, that, don't path. want that path. So we gon' we not gonna do this, we're not gonna do that, we're gonna hey, call on our power. We, we ducking you know? it we even we're gonna ask for that mercy. It says uh verse four, but the most high who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with a mashiach, by grace we are saved, and it's not of ourselves, man. The Lord had mercy, man. Now we are uh, a, 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 our conversations in the heavens, man. If you think about the heavenly things, yeah. hey, we're, hey, we're spiritual now, man. The, the angels even talking about us. Hey, look, look, y'all, 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 and hey, Lord, hey, look, these angels, they going back, they giving account to you how about Shem, how about Shabba, with the things that we doing, man. So when the day of wrath come, the Lord, you know, hey, you how shocking, hey, that, hey, that he was actually trying, he was striving, yeah, so he's right. good. He was doing hey, the work. Who, hey, who can lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? You know, roughly paraphrasing, this is uh, verse 5. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with a Mashiach, by grace are ye saved. It says, and have raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Hamashiach, Yahushai. Verse 7, that in the ages but, but to come. It says, in grace. In grace is we saved, man. Only through grace, man. Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai, man. Choosing us. Picking us to come out here and do this, man. Because we ain't doing this on our own free will. Like, like we ain't. Like, I'm so smart, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, the Lord, I know the Lord want me to do that. No, we, we don't know none of that, man. The Lord, hey, look, everything is doing according to, everything's going, what's going on is according to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh It's not according to us. We ain't never say, you know what I'm saying? I, I figured it out, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring you into the truth. I'm gonna bring you into the truth. We gonna preach Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Hey, look, no, hell no, we ain't do that, man. Lord brought his spirit. He gave us teachers. We started listening. We started learning. We came out and started preaching because we believe we have faith. Faith is things what? Not seen in things that's hoped for, man. We hoping for this, man. That's why we out here doing this, man. We not for no fucking, we don't want a dollar. We don't want a cent. We just want the elect to wake up and we try to get out this bitch. That's it. We trying to get the fuck out of hell, man. We looking for the Lord. The whole world is looking at what they see, but we looking at the we looking for the Lord. It says, uh, verse seven. It says that in the ages to come, that He might show the exceeding riches of His grace and His kindness toward us through a Mashiach Yahweh. Verse eight. For by grace are you saved through faith, and not that of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. And then we're here in the latter days. The days in which the former prophets inquired of, and we seeing all the prophecies take place. We seeing the Lord have mercy, bringing us back from that Gentile state of mind, because we were Gentiles, yes. you know. 
Yeah. But hey, now the Lord has woken us up and brought us back to our heritage, man. And we cast off uh, the, those so-called uh, byways we were given. We're not blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're the children of Israel. We're the sons of the living power. We are the righteous. That's right. You know? And, and we're coming back and proclaiming it. And it's a blessing for us to be able to see all these things that two-thirds of the heathens can't see, man. Nobody else in the world can see what we see. They don't know what we know. They can't talk how we talk. Because the Lord, we, it wasn't given unto them. It was only given unto the elect. It's, uh, the scriptures say, he that lacketh these things are blind and can't see them far off. Hey, these niggas can't see uh, right in their face the Bible said it's a new world order. No, that this on. MOTB is about to come, man. That, hey, they can't see that this is the future of America, man. Uh, yeah. Hey, they, they literally, they it says, let not the incredulity of them trouble you. Because all the unfaithful are going to die in their unfaithfulness. Oh, hey, this is still going to come, man, whether you believe it or not. Uh -huh. Whether you, hey, scoff it, scorn it. Hey, no matter how you feel. Hey, because the Lord literally said, it said they're going to believe in a lie. Hey, I got a uh, precept right quick to back that up. Oh, this man. is, hey, you know, this is Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 14, the verse 15 it says the simple believe of every word but the prudent man look of well to his going and that's simple and you go into it it talks about being open-minded being uh naive man hey these people Bro, are open to everything open minded in this yeah. society yeah you gotta be <laughs> hey, hey you no no you, you gotta, gotta listen to this yeah. mm -hmm. talk about open-mindedness man yeah. you open no, 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 on you that's no, be more mind. open to more demons that's it yeah. yeah. You open your mind up to more bullshit. You're homophobic. That's, that's, that's what phobia. they want to say. <laughs> Same thing that I did one time when I, I was, uh, I think I went to come get my son from some shit where they doing some uh, uh, Halloween shit. And yeah. some white lady and fucking came to me talking to me and all this stuff. And she got an accent about Halloween. Well, why weren't you here and all this stuff, man? Because I don't believe in the shit. That's why I ain't exactly. here. I, I ain't telling shit. But you know what I'm I don't believe in this. That's why I ain't here. Well, why you don't believe in some of the kids? I said, man, look, it's devil worship. Y'all celebrate the devil's so-called birthday. You gonna say it's okay for my kids, bro? Well, I, I think there's something wrong with you. It's, it's, it's for the kids. Hey, I, I, look, you can think what you want to think. You can believe what you want to believe. But I know the truth. I know this is devil worshiping bullshit. How you gonna ce uh, celebrate uh, goons and goblins and ghosts and bullshit? Demons. And, and talking about it's a part of Yahweh about Shem God that hates all those things. Something wrong with you. You 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 people are sick. God, right? You people are very sick. It ain't us that's sick. And, and, and that's why I, I don't have to go off. I don't have to act, hey bitch, you retarded, you don't know what to do. No, you don't have to do that. Because the Lord already given us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, so we know the truth. Whether you know it or not, whether you believe it or not, that's on you. We just gonna inform you like we supposed to do. And after that, you on your own. Your blood is off our hands. We don't have to, we, we ain't got to worry about you no more. Verse 15, uh, 16. A wise man feareth, a wise man feareth and departed from evil, but the fool rageth and is, and is confident. Hey, a wise man feareth and departed from evil. The scriptures say it's going to be like, in Luke 17, it's talking about the coming of the Son of Man. It's going to be like the days of Noah. And then it says it's going to be like the days of Lot. So hey, the days of Lord, they eating, drinking, doing their thing, gonna continue oh, wickedness, man. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, yeah, doing they, doing their thing and continually mind on wickedness, man. As I said, hey, a lot. They was doing the same thing, hey, doing their thing, man. Scoffing, man. And then ultimately, what? They came. The, the flood came, and the fire and brimstone came on Sodom. You got it, bro. Lot net, lot net. Sons-in-law, he went and told them they. They was what? They Sodom. They destroyed. You know? And guess what happened? Sodom was destroyed. Hey, yeah, it's still <laughs> to this day. Yeah. As they a testimony. To destroyed. You tripping, man. Hey, lock him up. <laughs> right, right, right. And it's still fucked up over there. Man, oh my good. Oh, the smoking land. Uh, and that's ultimately coming to America. That's right. Destruction, and it's going to be an uh, example. I got not to live. I grab it. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna grab it.
This is a. I'm gonna grab this one of Wisdom of Solomon. This Wisdom of Solomon 10 and verse 6, it says, When the ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities, of whose wickedness, even to this day, the wasteland that smoketh is a testimony, and plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness, and a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. Hey, look. Hey, people talk about this <laughs> right now, man. They, hey, the Lord's judgments are so, so uh, divine, man. Hey, the Lord made this. You can't even build, plant nothing on that land no more, man. <laughs> hey, because, hey, the Lord uh, left that as that example. And this place is going to be hey, a desert. Yeah. Hey, this yes. place that you love, it's going hey, it to that all these things are going to be dissolved. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like bro said, this place is going to be a, like uh, a place, a happening of uh, desert creatures, man. Yeah. They ain't no gonna, you ain't gonna have no real life on the face. There's gonna be desert creatures around. That's it. That's all you're gonna see with America. Man. You ain't never, America's gonna be done, finished, over with. You, you'll never know America or see it again unless one of the so called prophets is telling you or your, his, him and his grandkids, hey, right, you know, America, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, boy, that motherfucker, that boy, America, you, you don't want to have nothing to do with America. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the new, uh, the, the new testimony. Yeah, right, I got that yeah. one in Jude for you. Break it down, talk about it. This Jude 1 and 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Mm, hey, and in scripture talk about how uh, just Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. Hey, seeing how they conducted themselves. And, and the Lord looking down on that, and he's seeing how these people conducting themselves, man. The Lord said to Amos. Hey, yeah, it's a smoke in his nose in Isaiah. And the Lord said to Amos, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. Hey, look at this place, man. Hey, says it's going to destroy it off the face of the earth. Our people are wicked. It's all hell, man. Hey, our people are wicked. It's all hell. Hey, they don't want to repent. They don't want to return to the Lord, man. And hey, they, they want to uh, give in to iniquities, uh, idolatries, and all, uh, all matters of wickedness. It says a, 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 a nation laden with iniquity, man. Uh -huh. Hey, pleasures and unrighteousness. Come on, yup, yup. And they have, uh, it says they're haters of uh, 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 people that do righteousness. And these people hate uh, people haters. for being on point, man. Haters of God. Yup. This uh, Wisdom of Solomon 10 in verse 8, it says, For regarding not wisdom, they got not only this hurt, that they knew not the things which were good. And they, the people are doing the same things now. You got the men of the Lord reproving the whole earth, telling them stop being moles, man. Hey, <laughs> put down that food. Yep. Stop doing these things. You're destroying yourself, the environment, the, the whole creature, creation, right? That's right. It says, for it says they knew not the things which were good, but also left behind them to the world a memorial of their foolishness. So in the things wherein they offended, they could not so much as be hid. Going back into that uh, the wisdom of Solomon, talking about uh, Solomon and Gomorrah, man. Hey, for regarding not the wisdom, hey, they ask God left smoking. Exactly. And they still smoking to this day exactly. as a memorial of, uh, of what happens when that type of wickedness takes place. Now, America is the new Solomon and Gomorrah, man. Yeah. It talks about that in the book of Revelation. So what's going to happen to this place, man? The beacon of wickedness. Yep. It says, uh, verse 9, it says, But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. And then we're seeking the wisdom. The scriptures tell you that wisdom is beginning of the Most High's love, roughly paraphrasing. You know, hey, the fear of the Lord. You didn't get that wisdom. And now you got the wisdom. Now you, now the Lord loves you. Now you're friends with the Most High, man. It so says, you continue doing this work. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm in verse 9 again. It says, But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. So when the Lord comes back, hey, he's going to be looking for those that have that faith and that wisdom and that fear. You know? Sighing, crying out for him. And doing what he's saying. Okay, okay. That's all. Okay. Okay. Hey, so with that, we're going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Ka'ashem, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great mill song. Citation to all the I can put this word with true sergeant with charity. Shalom, Barakatham. Whoa, ba, ba, ba. Whoa, ba, ba, ba.